I smell fear and death. The fallen star is near. The fallen star has upset the balance of this land. I seek it. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Guards, open the gates! You'll find Leah at the Slaughtered Calf Inn. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the Fallen Star. I did. But it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead. The gods favored me. This is killing business. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their grave. Thank you. You should see. Sixteen militiamen went out, only Rumford came back. I will help you fight the risen dead. I admire your courage, but that will not well I They're hurt. attacking the barricades. <laughs> That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. I, Deckard Cain, have spent many years traveling and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead.
I don't have enough spirit. I need spirit. My mind is stronger. Dead. He started to eat us while we slept. Run! Save yourself! Empty. Did those creatures steal the treasure? Not enough spirit. I need spirit. God has raised me to new heights.
the ruins of old Tristram. The shadow of the other still hangs over this place. Not enough spirit. The king's gone mad. Executing anyone his paranoid eye falls on. None of us are safe. I don't have enough spirit. Thank you for your help. But could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. Come, let us search you for... You to open... You dare lift a finger to help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town while that bloated coward tried to run I away. Heard the people who left to get help. I've done. I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. I promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What happened to your father? He told me was a great warrior. He was lost in the are here. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will find your uncle. Stay here and find out what you can. I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall.
Spectrum Cathedral. The star fell here. The star. <laughs> I need spirit. Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Prestrum, I have seen their numbers surge. The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. The grotesques may Not seem slow fit. and senseless, but they hide many dangers within their hideously malformed bodies. A set of spikes burst beneath the monster's flesh, and foul paradise nest within them. It is said that these horrors themselves are constructed by a greater evil, a darkness that I cannot even fathom. I'm surprised you even have notifications. Dude, I can't sleep. So. Tell me if my audio is working. I was having the longest the problems with being able to share audio. I don't have enough spirit. The gun strike to me. My name is Rakdanon, and I am cursed. Once I don't even know what... King the Oryx army. I left only to honor Dude, you've had a long day. I don't know how you're still awake. It's great to love for his king than I had for mine. Even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. Yeah. That's what you should do. I might stay up until the Yankees play at 11. Not enough spirit. We'll see Juan Soto and off to a fantastic start. That's for sure. And then I think our shortstop is only in his second year. He has like a 500 on base percentage. Freaking crazy. We got a double header today, though. So it's a lot of baseball to watch, and I'm very excited to do it. We'll see how long I can go, Eddie. I'm not a very good solo streamer. I don't have enough spirit. Oh, if you're still there, I backed um, a splash page from the Shadow Kingdom. Utah has raised me to new heights.
All right, I'll be here. Oh, now, yeah, I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> oh, now, yeah, I'm batting a thousand. <laughs> Don't pay attention to that. I kind of picked a game I could just zone out and play tonight. Oh yeah, let me highlight chats. Be all professional. I need spirit. Uh, I need my movement skill.
He was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it, instilling the notion of an imminent attack by Westmarch. Dark and Afraid evil. Speak against the archbishop. The counselor's not. Oh, there's Ryan Blue he Thunder. What's up, die. Ryan? You been drinking? It's Friday night. I don't know. Well, I don't see any any Twitter ramblings from you, so maybe you haven't been. No, this is not a new game. This is Diablo three. It is not new. Now, Ryan, have you back to Shadow Kingdom? I'm sure you have. You want to come in here and hang out for a bit? I haven't talked to you in a while. I don't have enough to get it. Ooh, I don't know. So I, I did a commission and I have whip and I showed Eddie earlier not on stream but i don't know if i don't know what the the um the, what's the word i'm looking for i don't know if i should show it or not i don't know that the etiquette like can i show it i don't know oh my god I'm gonna show it to you if you want to see it, but I don't know with the proper etiquette. You would know more than me, Ryan. If that's proper etiquette or not. About to crash. Yeah. You know, I feel ya. I'm on the second shift life, so. I don't know what the proper etiquette is. Etiquette. It's a cool word. Oh, minions, stay back. Back. May this let go. The power of the fallen star awakened me, and soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. I need spirit. I don't remember it being this easy. I think they nerfed it. They nerfed it. Nerf. Oh, yeah, to talk to what's his name? Dr. Kane. Oh, thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? It was not your time, old man. Come, Leah is waiting for you. It is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We 
must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. I have kept my word and rescued Leah's uncle, Deckard Cain. I saved him from a creature called the Skeleton King, who now bars my way to the Fallen Star. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Time runs short. Tell me what you know of the Fallen Star. Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, don't more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. I have <laughs> it's never been truer than right now. <laughs> oh <laughs> I have no friends. Skeleton key lost. Nonetheless, the key. Leah, you should not dismiss the sign so lightly. Do you not believe? I have some new items that I'm certain you will love. Did you hear? Old Rumford has us down half. Blacksmith, Deckard Kane said you could help me find the crown of Leore. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It is regrettable, but it must be done. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. If that guy doesn't know how he can kill his own wife. He hasn't been married long enough. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. Not enough spirit. All right, friend. I'm sorry. This must be done. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in you. As it happens. I can help you find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. Oh, and if oh. you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Get back to town, fool. Well, no, no, no. Let's go sell some s stuff. Sure, I may do business with some unsavory types. But I pass the same. You know that we're ever going to be hurting for gold in this game.
Get back here, treasure goblin. The gods favor me. Do they extra gold dexterity? Yes. Experience? Yes. Yes. That will die. Ooh. I get a lot of bows, and I don't even use bows. That's the way these games go. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead did not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet grew breath. So wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a taste of cleverness that makes them quite formidable. is not yet to be found. Get back here, wench. Yeah, I'm I'm going strong still. So I'll be here. I don't know how do I text you the link? I don't know how I do that. I I could Do you don't have Twitter on your phone? I could send it to you. I could DM it to you on Twitter. I don't know how you do it on phone. Let me see. Oh, it's just the link. All right, hold on. I bet I can figure it out. Well, no, I'd have to log into StreamYard through my phone. Maybe I can do it.
There, that should be it. Yeah, no worries. No rush. Grow longer. Kingdom of Kyrgyzstan, I heard rumors of Zakarun warriors called Crusaders. By the natives of the Kyrgyzstan, I was able to deduce that this order was founded 200 years ago, just as Russia took his army of paladins west. But these Crusaders went east on a very different mission.
The blacksmith's apprentice is dead. I think I'll hear of it when next we meet. His fool apprentice is dead. D E D. This isn't the morning. I thought you were. This is the morning. It's closing. It's closing today, Amanda. Today, I'm, I'm, I'm going to officially join the club. It closes at like I don't know. Let me see. Let's take a look here. In five hours. We had 234 backers, almost 11,000. <laughs> You're going to spam the, are you spamming the link at Eddie? Eddie, Ryan Blue Thunder is like passed out and you. And Eddie stepped away. He's going to join me for a few minutes here in a little bit. Might be awake.
But I will say this, Amanda. You're going to be jealous when you find out the deal I got from Mr. Leech. I don't think I told you guys. Yeah, I don't think I will until until I get the book. I'm bleeding viewers. <laughs> Look, Amanda, are you still there? No, I don't, maybe, I don't know. Here, look, watch my screen. <laughs> Read that. Then go to sleep. What are you doing? Ooh, a legendary. Yeah, it's in the game. <laughs> but I just thought I clicked on trying to get used to the keys and it came up. I didn't have anybody in. I just thought it was like pretty, <laughs> pretty spot on. <laughs> Hello, John. Amanda's got a worse sleep schedule than I do. Now that I'm on second, I get lots of sleep. I'm not tired and if I go if I go to bed I'll toss and turn and my wife she's gonna wake up probably an hour and a half. So it's best just to stay up. No, don't go wake her up before she gets up to go to work. Well, well, well. What's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. What's up? Is it good or bad? Or it sounds like you're that? talking through a running toilet. Oh, is it? <laughs> Just playing with you. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna take a drive to go get something to eat. I haven't ate in like two days. Are you gonna get a sausage egg and cheese McMuffin? I can't stand McDonald's breakfast. Oh, I love actually, McDonald's breakfast. I'm actually going to run to the only thing that's open right now, White Castle. But I don't, you know, eat, that, uh, I don't eat that garbage White Castle that everybody eats. I don't get onions. I don't get, I'll get like a chicken sandwich or something. Mm. You know, White Castle was founded in Wichita, but we don't even have one, even though it was founded <laughs> here. Hey. Makes no sense. Well, 
I go over the money and you know. Mm. So how's everything there? Eh, I can't come. I mean, you know, I've had problems, you know. <laughs> but yeah. then I think I need glasses now. Oh really? Yeah. How old are you? Like 40, 41, 45. Maybe? Oh. Yeah, mine started about 40, 41, 42. I was like, God damn. This yeah, I know. So I was telling my wife, I'm like, shit, I think I need a prescription. <laughs> Is it for to, to read or like yeah, to, to read, to read. Oh, yeah. yeah, so yeah. like at work, you know, sometimes I work in, you know, we're in tight spaces or whatever, and I have to read something like real close to my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't. It's like there's no fucking way. There's no way. John, this is not a rando punching bag. This is Eddie Winkler. How's it going? <laughs> oh man! So I can't really see anything right now because I'm driving. I have my phone down, but that's all right. I'll let you know if anything happens. Well, yeah, you're a big country guy, ain't you? Country music? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like real country music, not that shit they play on the radio. Well, uh, my buddy had invited me. He had an extra ticket. Um. I was gonna go with him tomorrow to Milwaukee to go see Luke Combs, and uh, I told him uh, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> no, 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 probably not. Probably not. But I was supposed to meet Brandon at at the Simcon. Me and my wife are gonna go uh, tomorrow. That's not happening. No, no. So much shit, but. Mm. Well, that's it. That's a um, what game is this that you're playing? Is this this is Diablo Three. It's an older game. I wanted oh, something I could just like play and veg out, just like not have to pay too much attention to. So I used to play okay. this on PlayStation, and now I just I got it for PC, just to have something to zone out to. So when is that? Uh that Call of Duty uh, 40K come out. Call it's that, Warhammer. It's Space Marine. Warhammer. That's Space Marine 2. And Mr. My my friend Kenneth Rocafort and I are both looking, counting down to it. Comes on October. Oh, he plays too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes Space Marine. Oh. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't know. I thought it was just like a skin for. Wow, no, no, Warhammer. it's an entire game. There's like a story behind it and everything. It's. It's you know it's about the the Marines. Wait, forty k has a story. <laughs> oh, dude, you got to see my you got to see, see my Spotify list, <laughs> or not but Audible, Audible, oh, it? Audible. It's just book after book. Uh, hold on, let me get to the chat. Why is it not happening? Uh, Eddie Winkler had a disaster. Um, Let's just call it that. A minor, <laughs> yeah, a minor disaster. <laughs> Am I under a rock with events? Uh, no, Eddie. It was, I was texting with Eddie earlier, so I know what's going on. But he had like a minor disaster. Basically, I, I would say. I mean, it's, it's nothing. I mean, no, no use crying over spilled milk. We had uh, some water damage in the house, and uh, for the last what I got home about Wednesday at five o'clock from work, and I was like, I told my wife because she walked in like two minutes before me. I was like, "Do you got something laying on the floor downstairs?" Because you know, all I seen was like shine, you know, with the with the lights off. And sometimes, like, she'll put a mirror down or something, right? And uh, she's like, "No, I fucking turned the lights on." I was like, "God damn!" We like go into the water. So, uh, give me one second. I'm all right. All right. Uh, How you doing? I don't know what CFA is, John. CFA. Um, Chick oh, Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I'm not waiting in line. To no, I'm not waiting in that line ever. Well, now you know, Amanda. Now you know. Eddie had a uh, little problem at his house, I guess. Yeah. 
Chick fil A line where I live. I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know where you live though. Didn't Leroy, how close are you to the Sky City? Like they have I don't know. I don't know what the Sky City is. Is that a reference to the air capital? I don't understand. <laughs> I live in the air capital of the world. That's what we call ourselves, at least. We make airplanes here. Let's see where we're at. Where's it at? It's over here. Let's do a refresh, Amanda. He got another backer, 235. Moving on up. $42 from 11,000. Oh yeah, this is what I backed. Right here. I'm on that one. What's up, Dave? Hey, if you want to join in, let me know. I'll shoot you the link. Dave, I'm just hanging out. And very formally, you don't have to get on camera or anything. Amanda, you were probably... You were probably a day one backer. I've had Dave on me before. I've had Dave on. What is it like? I think. I think he was closing like perfect ten the second, the second time, and like I looked around and nobody was streaming. I couldn't believe it. Cloud City. I don't. I'm not in on the joke. Cause I'm I don't watch streams, so I know Vanessa's got something going on with me in the sky, but I don't know anything about it. So, Sumo Thori, sorry to hear about Akibono, bro. I heard about it. So, that was a. I doubt it was a Leroy bump. Well, that's just me, Dave. I'm not very entertaining by myself. Eddie was here, but he left. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not up on all the seat, the the jokes and all that.
Yeah, yeah, but he was the first, um, the first non-Japanese guy to make Yokozuna, I think. So I don't. I want to show guys like oh, I want to show them Amanda what I'm having done for me, but I don't know what proper etiquette is, and I don't want to make my guy mad. Eddie's back. I think we'll see. Uh, back. Uh, what do I do? I do air Eric, if Eric's on and like it's just him talk. I I like to join. I'll go to check out some of Russ's stuff, and of course, if Kenneth is live doing his sketches, which he hasn't been, I'm I, I do that. But that's about it. Eddie's got technical difficulties. I'm going to show it, Amanda. What do you think? You think I should show it? I want to show it. I'm so excited. But I don't want to make him mad either. Damn it. I don't know what the etiquette is. Damn it. No, I want it. No, I don't want to say it. I want to show it. I'm going to show it. Maybe you'll get mad. I don't know. I don't think so. I'll show it. Hold on. So I've cut my backing down. And I'm like, well, I got some extra money. So I contact this, a member of the community. And I'm having a commission done. And I'm very excited. It's it's wit, it's work in progress. So you send me updates and it's like, dang. I get hyped. I don't I hope Eddie's all right. So it's a space marine. A gray knight. So I'm very excited about that. And then I backed Russ way big on this time. Instead of just like, I usually just get the book and then, you know, if there's like something extra, like a, I don't know, like a sketchbook or whatever, I'll do that. But I got a, a splash page from, from Russ this time. Oh, I'm back. There you are. What's up, Eddie? Well, at first I kicked myself out <laughs> trying to do something on the phone, and then I just came back in and muted the, you know, the youth that works at um, at uh, White Castle was, was having a having a day. <laughs> I'm like the only new buddy. But let's see. What um. You showed up. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the etiquette is, and I don't think he'd be mad. So, um, I'm, I'm you're super the buyer. Excited. Oh, that's you're true. the buyer. You're you're able to show whatever. I mean, that's up to you. I mean, if it was a pro if it was like a joint project, you know, you might want to discuss it. But if it's just a commission for you, you know, it's a personal for you to show whatever you want. I, I can't lie, Eddie, because I went when I got with him. I'm like, "Do you know anything about Warhammer?" He's like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, "Shit!" So then I'm like, "I'm trying to explain to him." I'm like, products? "No, no." He he pulled some reference that he showed me, and I'm like, "Yeah, that's good. That's good reference." But I explained to him. I'm like, "He's Catholic, right?" So I was like, "Just pretend that the Catholic Church had a militant wing, and that's what these guys are." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So, and then I've been yeah. watching Russ's streams, 
and like trying to look at like the original art he's showing, just trying to pick what I want out, but he never shows everything. It's like, damn it, Russ. <laughs> Quit showing all the same stuff. <laughs> Show it all. Yeah, I, I haven't done anything in the last two days. I had my computer down. Yep. Did anything get, did that get, that didn't get destroyed, did it? No, everything was on a desk or, or you know, on a, on a shelf. The, just the stuff that was sitting on, like, so what, what happened was I got my, I was getting my gym back together. I have a lot of my brothers, my, both my brother's stuff mm -hmm. at my house because one of them moved to Florida a few years ago and the other one lives in Wooddale which is like, you know, 60 minutes from me. And my mom moved a few years back, so I helped her get everything out. No one else could. So I got all their shit at my house, and it was in my garage, you know? Right. So I was like, I want my gym back. So I moved stuff to the basement. <laughs> it just put it on the ground? It was just, well, it was boxes. You know, everything's in a box or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it looked more like a storage unit than, yeah. you know, like just wasn't like disarray, it's just in there, you know. No one really uses the basement. We've been meaning to remodel for a while, but um, but yeah, so soon as like two days after I started, you know, now everything's back in the garage. <laughs> like, God damn it! But yeah. uh, but the power packs, you know, the power packs when I at least it I tripped, yeah. Back, yeah, everything tripped. Everything worked the way it's supposed to. Because um, yeah, if it you wasn't high, had it on the ground, you know. Right. I brought something to work. Yeah. Um, Dude, if yeah, you if, if you lived in an old house and that stuff didn't happen, you'd have been in big, big trouble. Well, it wasn't GFIs on the wall. It didn't. It didn't get that high, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but I have, I have GFCIs from, from work that I just. I have so many of them, right? And I yeah. them up, so I have them, and and they were those are sitting on the ground. So as soon as that got wet, it just tripped. Oh. So I wish we had extra airplanes at work that I could just bring home. <laughs> <Nah. laughs> <laughs> oh. So yeah, and then we were talking about the Yankees start, dude. I can't believe how good Will Soto is right now. It is he's. I texted George actually. It's like three days ago. I'm like. That guy's not, he's not human. <laughs> like Juan yeah, Soto, uh, he's, not, he's not a human being. It's a long season, but I don't know. That division, that division looks okay. Um, the Braves are off to a decent start. They always, they always start strong, stay strong, and then burn out like a dying star. At the yeah, end. but Philadelphia pulled their head out of their ass sooner than usual. Like, yeah, well, they're gonna be bat. They're gonna be battling back and forth. I know it. They always are. Yeah. So, um, uh, I haven't been to a con in a while, and I'm thinking, I'm contemplating next year, Eddie, going to the Ontario con in California. Ontario. Yeah, California. With Ontario and California. I know. That. Yeah. That's the oh, one. How close to you? That's the yeah. one Ken goes to. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it'd be like a Roco Force. Local hmm. Force Kong. Thinking about it. Yeah. So, how close am I to what now? I was gonna say how how close do you be here in Kansas? Yeah, dude. The, this is the most decent con close to me is like Dallas. Yeah. I was sharing with Amanda our con that we have in the city I live in. Uh, yeah, uh, George is doing good. John and Sumo says boo Yankees. Yay, Rangers. That's yeah. what I say. Boo Yankees. What huh? Why? You're why, a, oh why yeah. Do I dislike the Yankees? Are you yeah, gonna ask yeah. me? The nineties, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah let me let me remind you about the nineties. Well, sorry, dude. There's twenty seven World Series championships. I, I it's hard to keep track, okay? Well, yeah, I mean <laughs> about the money. You got the money to, to throw at everybody. <laughs> You know, so I can't, I can't, I can't really say that anymore because in the past few years, their their cash has been pretty. Uh, yeah, but you will say that after this season when they throw a half a billion dollars at Juan Soto. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and then I, you, by the way, I, I have to apologize, Eddie. I was doing my top 10 stream the other day by myself because mm -hmm. I have no friends, as this game tells me. And uh, you were like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, your, 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 your timing about the comment just went over my head. And then I, after the streaming, I was like, oh, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, my bad. Nah, that was moving my books from one side to the other. Because basically, you know, I, I just, I got a fan, you know, I got a, a fan, a fucking wet vac. So I was just moving stuff, ripping up carpet, then moving it back to the other side. And all my books are on shelves up along the walls, you know? Right. And as I was moving each box, I was just going through shit, you know. I haven't found a bunch of stuff. And well, I in a while. because I've cut my backings down, I think my I'm going to collect every Roca Fort book or cover I can find from here on out. Like that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's a quest. Yeah, I have a whole like Roca Fort long box. That's what I think I'm going to do. But I did I order. I ordered Rook. From, oh, did you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, um, I hope I like it. We'll see. It's all, so far. It's all right. I mean, it's only one issue so far. Right. Um, obviously, the the art is excellent. Well, Faybach, um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would hope so. The story is okay right now. Um, I picked that up, and I picked up Geiger. Yeah. Um, that's the one with uh, what's his name? Yeah, I know Hitch does the red coat one, but I, I the only I, thing I ever what? liked from from Hitch was uh, Batman's Grave, but that was more because it was Warren Ellis. The story was good from Warren Ellis. Whoever's ink, I didn't pick that book up specifically for the inker. I don't know. It looks like he ruined Hitch's art. Unless unless Hitch just got lazy because it's. It's nothing like Brian Hitch. I'm not a huge Brian Hitch fan, but it doesn't look it doesn't look anything like it. Hmm. It's like really dark and muddy. Yeah. Um but uh but the Geiger story's pretty okay right now. Um this is gonna sound stupid or like I'm just whatever making shit up, calling it out. Like what was me, but like uh, the the rook. All these guys have like like totem masks or whatever, you know, of all these animals. I won't get mine till Monday, so I don't know yet. No. Uh, well, it's just like if you've seen any of the promos, there's like you know, but basically, all, I remember like in '95 doing doing all my uh, all my like little designs on what I wanted to like for all the clans for Sovereign Wolf. Mm -hmm. I have all that paperwork. <laughs> um, oh, on tangent, so I have all all those symbols, and it reminded me of my symbols because I was like, "God damn it, I can't get ideas out fast enough." Oh, but um, I but see. uh, but a lot. I've had I had uh, a lot of files, like all my old dose of action shit that. When I was doing that shit in like college, I have a bunch of files next to my desk, and a lot of them just they're just absorbed water. So I got them all laying out, trying. <laughs> oh no! I got stories, just all kinds of shit. Just, I'm like, God damn it! Amanda what? said uh, she snagged that Lady Mechanica cover. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the the Roca Fort one is a great cover. Yeah. So, what was your beef, well, Eddie? You said I left some covers out, but like, what would I have replaced? Uh oh, Eddie muted himself. Sorry, there were a couple. There were a couple covers on there that I don't know. I wouldn't say they're his best, um, but there's a couple, um, like uh. The, the Lady Mirage stuff or Man Mirage. Whatever. I put one on there. I thought yeah. I put his oh, most famous one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um 
again, that the hunter killer has a couple good ones. I know, dude, but you know me, dude. If I if I just went by, right, I right. you're just not gonna put go by all the Superman, right. and I would have put a bunch of well, Superman covers should, on there. Then you should have said your favorite, your top ten. Oh, wow. top it was ten. so a little bit different. <laughs> I know. I'm just saying because he has a he has some. Uh, what is it? Is it astonishing tales that he did, or or like um, the one with the Punisher and Wolverine? There's, there's, uh, there's that a couple. One. Yeah. He's got, he's got a couple ultimates covers. He's got a lot of covers, dude, and that I mean, well, yeah, a lot. I don't like. I don't follow like I. There's a lot of like people follow like all the variant covers of things, and I'm sure he has a bunch of stuff. But I never, like, I never chase that market. So if it's not like on the shelf when I go in there, I won't notice. Yeah. Um. There's a there was a nice um. Man of War cover that I like, but the way they do their their the covers, I they you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. There where it's like half of it's like text and like no art, and it's like man, that's too bad because yeah, there's a good piece there. But dude, I love him. I love his Superman shit. Like, oh, see you later, John. I think he left a while ago, didn't he? I guess so. I don't, I don't know. know. I might have read that a while back. Uh, I don't know, but yeah, they. I don't like the way they do the Man of War covers, so um, I threw that out. But yeah, like he's got so many good ones that I don't know. I you know it's it's whatever. It's you know pick your poison. It's like somebody was saying they like the Red Sonia cover, but I like some of his like mixed media commissions, I guess, of so Red Sonia better. So. Holy fuck. There's a, there's a huge coyote running around right here. In the middle of Chicago? <laughs> I don't live I don't live like in the heart of the loop of the of the city. I live in the suburbs. Oh, I thought you had a house where they knocked down Cabrini Green and you put a house down there. Oh yeah. It's, it's a gated community. We're gated in. <laughs> no. no. The South Side. <laughs> no, actually right now I'm sitting in a Mariano's parking lot. Fucking just so Mariano. I don't wake everybody up. There's, yeah, only Mariano. One, there's only one Mariano I know. Mm. Well, Mariano, he's long and gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's long gone. Inner Sandman, someone mm -hmm. that calls. I don't know someone. Uh, sorry, we're talking about comics. Um, so as a Spider Man fan, everybody's. Everybody's tripping over themselves on this Ultimate Spider-Man. I think it's pretty good. I'm not gonna say it's great yet. I usually give it like a series of, mm -hmm. or a new Spider-Man run, like six issues before I'm like, okay, it's good. So far, it's decent. Like it's it's completely different than anything they've done with Ultimate or alternate Spider-Man universes. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's so it's good in that. You know, in that sense, right? Um, is that the one that I don't like? There's is that the new, that, what's his yeah, name? Did a cover with, for uh, it's Hickman. It's uh, yeah, what, uh, who did a cover? What I think the main cover is like, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's like Tetraretto or Tetraretto, yeah, 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 yeah. You know me, I don't um, give a shit about Marvel though, so yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I don't really give a shit about DC right now either. Guy. You're an image guy. But now I am. This is like the first comic I've late. bought in since the last. Oh, this is the first mainstream. The so I, the Rook is the first mainstream book I've bought in since the last um, three Jokers issue, and that was from Vaywalk mm -hmm. too, incidentally. Yeah. So. And, uh, the um. Oh, Eddie. Yeah, I can, I can, what's up? Eddie, what about the new X Men cartoon everybody's talking about? What do you think of that? Won't watch it. Why not? I don't know. I'm not a huge X Men fan. Like I liked the series back then, but that was because like there wasn't, there weren't a lot of superhero cartoons. I think mm -hmm. that was like one of the first ones. Like it was like Batman the animated series, which was then, like, like the whole, which is the holy grail, by the way. Right. Right. I've been watching that with my kids. 
But um, but like, and then it was X Men, you know. And then there was this big explosion after like ninety four, where there was there was a cartoon for everything, you know, every right. superhero. So so X Men was cool in that sense. Um, I was always like, as far as X Men, like everybody knows, I'm a Cyclops simp, I guess, if you want to say it that way. I have um, said it that way. I think this series is proving. I told Phil, I said, I think this series is proving my point that Cyclops is a badass and that Wolverine is the is the the sissy of the group. Mm. Um, I have not watched it, so I would not know. Neither have I. Um, but everything he's saying, I'm like, I'm like you see. And then he's also reading Claremont. Uh, I'm talking about Phil D. He's reading Claremont's run when he first started, um, when they took over uh, with the new team. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah, you're gonna see, you're gonna see who cries over Gene and who doesn't. Oh, that whole uh, love triangle. Ugh. Oh, man. I don't know. I just I, think, I told I think, them wait till they get out of space because I can't st- I can't stand the star jam. I can't. I just can't. But I uh, I thought I could appreciate that. I like it. Uh, I like that people are getting excited over something other something that's animated other than anime. You know what I mean? It's like oh good. I'm Thank talking you. about anime is great, Ugh. but not. Just, I don't know. I'm not a big new stuff fan. Like uh, all this, uh, I don't know. I think I don't have the attention span for it anymore. But then again, I don't have the attention span for anything. Like my mind is racing all the time on other things. Amanda wants me to share some covers real quick. All right, I'm gonna mic. I'm gonna mute myself so I can eat stuff my okay. face. All right. So she's got this Superman cover. I just bought a Superman cover today, a Roku Fort one, but it's not this one. What else do we got? And that's got all the Roka. What do we call it? What were we calling it? Roka Razzle? Roka Razzle, I think we we're calling it. But in the background, we got all the smoke. Roka Riz, you fool. Roka Riz. Roka Riz. When, Roka Riz? I don't know. Maybe. I don't that's like the Super lingo Man. now, buddy. All right, Roka Riz. That's got all the Roka Riz there behind Superman. And kind of in the foreground, too, actually. So there's one she shared. Let's see another one. I think one of them is one that I shared already, but we'll see. Oh, no. I'm so not used to doing this. Uh, Let's see another one. It's a Madame Mirage. This isn't a Kenneth Roca Fort cover, Amanda. Shame on you. This that's just him. He draws it. It's not a that's not a Roca Fort cover, though. Shame. Shame. Whatever. Amanda. Amanda submitting all the Sylvester covers because he wrote more things on it. Let's see what else she got. Uh, oh, she's got this from Detective. This one's good. I just like the one with Joker a little bit more. And what else does she got? Oh, yeah, this one's cool. But I feel like it's been done. You kind of see it in the movies. But it, yeah, he's like coming through the moon. Yeah, that's that one's cool too. For sure. And is that it? I think that's it. And she probably passed out. So she gave us three Roka Four covers, not four. <laughs> uh, Sumo says shame on Amanda. Shame. So I kind of like one looking for an iPad right now, but I don't want to buy a brand new one. And I don't think I want to buy a used one either, but 
I don't know if I'm going to use it enough. What are you trying to do? Just get into like Photoshop or whatever? Yeah, or watch movies in my bed or whatever. You know what I mean? Just to have a tablet around. Did you say watch movies under your bed? In my bed. Like if I'm laying down, I could like set it up on my nightstand because I'm a side sleeper. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that why your neck leans to one side? Does it really? I, I walk like John Wayne. <laughs> so, but yeah, I don't want to buy a brand new one, but I don't, that's probably not something you want to buy used. Mm. You, like, it's probably crap if you get one used. Yeah, I don't know. I don't use Apple. I know it's, people say they're simple. My wife has an iPhone. And every time she hands it to me, I just hand it right back to her. <laughs> I'm like, get this fucking thing away from me. I was like, I don't know how to use it. Like, just get it away from me. You know what? I'm going to say Sumo's been around enough. Sumo, if you want the link and you want to come in and talk, let me know. And you can come in here. Uh, don't buy it used. Just buy an older model. He says, now, Eddie, I don't. I have an Android phone. I use PC. I don't have nothing with Apple, but... If I ever do want to use it for something like that, I want, I think I want Procreate and they don't make Procreate for, um, well, why do you want, I'm, I'm not like trying to deter you, but like, why, why Procreate? Because a lot of people say it's good or because I like to play with software. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't say I'm going to use Procreate, but like I might buy it just to dick around with, you know what I mean? Just to, Mm-hmm. Let's see what's this all about, kind of thing. I, I, have, I have Flip Studio. I think I opened it once. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I'm at like I'm in a the software is my jam, kind of thing. So I feel like maybe I should, but I don't. Like I said, I don't know if I'll use it. This is what's this is what sucks about. The only thing that sucks about second shift is like I'm up now and I'm kind of awake now. Oh, but second shift. Oh. No, 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 oh. dude. I'll tell you the good thing about it. I have never had as much sleep in my life as I get now. I, f- I <laughs> well, love yeah. it. Love it. I, I suppose like now at this stage in my life, I might like it if I did it, but like <laughs> I did it when I was young. Oh, and I it's, uh, it was fucking. Everybody was at school or work when I was, you know, when I came home from work or, yeah. or, or when yeah. you get up. You know, and then when you when you get off work, everybody's sleeping already out. <laughs> I like it, but I didn't do it until my kids were like graduate. You know what I mean? Now they're old. They're adults now. It's like I get to worry about me. And it's like, I wonder what it feels like to get eight hours of sleep every day. And let me tell you, it feels fucking wonderful. <laughs> eight hours. Oh my God. I mean, eight hours of sleep since I was a baby. I love it, man. Like just and then like, I'm not tired at work, like dead ass tired. I'm not tired. Like I, it's the, the, like I said, the one drawback is, it's like, yeah, I'll fire up and go talk to everybody. No, like, I don't even know where Jim Cox is. He's probably in bed. Like, Jab hasn't stopped in. He's probably in bed. All the it's normal. Four thirty in the morning over here. I know it's here too. It's four thirty. Oh. I'm on. I'm on Central. Hell, I'm right in the center of the states, bro. Mm. So, so I guess it's going to put off your plans for. Eddie left. He gone. Let's take a look at because I'm excited. Oh, he's back. Yeah. He, Eddie's <laughs> back. Well, what'd you say? You guess that's gonna put off my plans for what? For um future projects. This is gonna like uh-huh. put, this is gonna put a time delay into it, I guess. I guess no more delay than there would have been. I mean, oh. I got so there's a couple things I got going on mm-hmm. um, related to 
CG and independent comics in general. So uh, Chimera has Testament 3 coming out, and he has some, some models or, uh, you know, 3D prints that, that uh, is gonna, are going to be on his campaign. Mm-hmm. And I told him I'd paint one. Now, yes, it's it's taken a while. I've had I had the model for a while. I I started to paint it, and it dropped, and it cracked, it shattered. No. So, so Brandon, so Brandon Diaz, or the Diaz brothers, uh, printed out a couple more. So I have those. I had them on my table in my. Uh, in my airbrush booth because I'm just gonna quick rush them, and uh, and then all this shit happens, so everything is moved. The good thing is that if I after if I get a minute to sit down in a week or two, then I could probably knock it out real quick. You know, uh, the color scheme isn't that. What is there? What you can knock stuff out in a week or two because. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah speaking of that how's that project going uh i painted a little last week and i think i'll have a set i haven't started yours yet though because i'm not going to touch the ones that you yours. sent me until i'm good so i think i'm going to have all I, I think you're fine you're you're fine oh no, I, when i paint those i want to be good so i want to you have know what week. listen for 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 10 years i said that to myself for 10 years. Oh, I don't want to mess these up. It'd be, you know how you get good? By fucking shit up. Yeah, but that's I could go fuck good. shit up that's le- a lot less sentimental to me than those. When I'm, yeah, when but I'm, if you paint it with thin coats, you could either paint right over it again or strip them. And then dude, I got an Optimus Prime out of send you a picture of it. I painted over it like. 20 times it looks and i i, 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 I what you would yeah i think I, yeah yeah it's so bad but yeah anyways so you're going to paint the models for chimera so i'm going to paint up I, I might paint like two different ones mm-hmm. they're real quick like i said the color scheme isn't terrible um i just gotta take care of this bullshit uh so i got that um I was supposed to go to C2E2. We'll see how that goes. Um, Look, I know... Okay, let's talk about that real quick. Real quick, do you mind? All right. Well, I'm not a fan of what's going on. A lot of things around what's going on around the community here. But I'm still, like, canceling people's bullshit. So, yeah, that, you know. no, regardless of, like... At the same time, how you feel about anything, it's 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 a fucked up situation. Yeah, for, but at the same time, know. dude, it's like, <laughs> it's, you know, but you shouldn't be canceling people point blank for out. So no, yeah, I mean for, that's just that's just dumb. It just proves that they're not in it for the money. You know, it's just it's a fucking expensive club for them and their friends. Yeah. When I say them and their friends, I don't mean like. CG. I mean, whoever's in control of the the convention scene. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. it's just bullshit. You know. Um. Aside from that, like, uh, so saying, it, I don't, I don't have a ticket to go to C2E2. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hope it doesn't scare people that are coming to Chicago for the first time. Uh, scare them away from coming to a different con. Like Fan Expo, which, right. in my opinion, is worlds better than C2E2. Right. C2E2 is like if you took Mega City and, like, there is absolutely nothing else around it. You know what I mean? Like, you have the convention center, uh, which is McCormick Place. There are a lot of things around it, but it's going to cost you. A money, a massive amount of money to go back and forth in the city. You know what I mean? So oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Everything, everything is just they, they nickel and dime you, and, and people will be like, "Ah, oh, you just bitching." No, I work downtown. Whenever my wife says, "You want to go downtown?" 
I fucking cringe. <laughs> I can't yeah. stand it. I can't stand downtown. I love Chicago. Don't get me wrong, but it's fucking. They go, I live in Crook County. They call it Crook County for a reason. <laughs> it's actually it's actually Cook County, but we call it Crook County. Bro, um, I don't even want to go to downtown Wichita, much less downtown Chicago. <laughs> downtown Chicago is beautiful. I'm yeah, but I don't you, want to deal with it, dude. I don't want to deal with it. it dude, it used to be shit was so like you could pull up next to the lake, park right next to it. No, fuck, just get out and you're fucking there at the lake. Now there's a fucking meter everywhere. It's fucking just like dude, well, it's always, yeah, always a one way streets and all the rest of the bullshit I don't want to deal with. Like that's what you're gonna cry about. One way streets. Yeah, traffic. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I want to complain about. Traffic. Yes. traffic sucks in every city. I know, and I don't ever want to go downtown in any city. <laughs> yeah. But I uh, I digress. Um so if if Malin and Shane or whoever comes down, um, I will go and say what's up. Now I know they're, you know, whatever. Uh, I have no idea, dude, and I don't want to know. How about that? But again, no, no. What I'm saying is they're coming down. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'll probably never go to the East Coast. Like the I have circuit. no interest yeah. in the East Coast. You know, I, especially. Like, I'll go to Florida because my brother lives there, but, like, I don't know anybody in New York. Uh, I don't know anybody, you know, up in, you know, Jersey or Maine, whatever. The, the whole, the whole, that area, like, I would never go there for a convention. I know how expensive it is here. I would never go there for a convention. Um, so, you know, to, to go and say, meet people that I enjoy their work. I'll say, hey, what's up? You know, that's it. I'm not going to stick around forever. Um, my wife's going to be out of town that week. So my mom's probably going to have my kids. And I don't want her to have them forever. So I'll go hang out. I don't drink. So I'm not going to hang around. I'll, I'll, if they're in a bar, I might go say what's up. But, you know, I'm not going to stick around and close the place down uh but getting back to sovereign wolf so when when things start dying down what i want to do is put out a second chance campaign Mm -hmm. and last time i talked to you said you were like a few weeks out like yeah yeah Uh, that's all putting the campaign together yeah and then like I said, I was moving boxes around. Mm-hmm. So there's there's not going to be anything really new to the campaign. It's just going to be basically be for oh, people that didn't gonna, get in on it the first there's time. Really you know gonna be, wait, wait. There's not going to be anything new? No, no, no. In the second chance campaign, uh-huh. there's not going to be anything new okay. for the second chance campaign. Okay. So, like, okay. it'll run for two weeks and then go in demand. So it's basically because I closed the campaign down. Uh, mm-hmm. in like six months, it was only up for six months, mm-hmm. which I think is a long time. But compared to other projects that are out, it's not really a long time. And I know there are new people, new customers that might not have been around, or maybe they just didn't. It wasn't an opportune time to pick it up. So now maybe I can give them a chance to pick it up if they like it. Um. I'll be totally transparent. You know, there might be a couple new things added. But uh, nothing big. But it's not going to be nothing big. Okay. When, when, the, when book two comes out, so I've already contacted Eric Weathers. Um, basically, there's the main story is 52 pages. Um, it's totally complete art-wise. Uh, it only has to be lettered. Uh, so I contacted him about a, a month and a half ago and said, hey, how's your schedule look? And so-and-so, he's like, look, just let me know. I was like, cool. And then obviously there were delays on my part again. Uh, so we're just waiting. Uh, there is also a story by uh, Von Klaus mm-hmm. for a supplemental that's going to be in that book. Uh, cool character. 
and with artwork by Juanito. Um, so that's that's got to be colored. It's 26 pages. That has to be colored and lettered, which I don't know who I'm going to get to color it yet. Uh, I know uh, my colorist, Giuliano, he colored the whole Sovereign Wolf book. I don't know if I really want to get him to color this book. You should talk so, to Eric's, Eric's girl, man. I saw some work from her, dude. She's yeah. Well, I got to talk to a lot of people, um, <clears throat> but right now, honestly, yeah, I'm gonna see how much money I got to dump into this basement, and and it has nothing to do with the business side of money. It just has to do with how much money do I want to dump out right, right. now. You know, here, let, um, let me let me do this real quick. Let's end this stream and we'll talk about I don't want you to get too personal live. No, no, that's, that's fine. Like, because it, it, as soon as, as soon as I finish saying this, I'm probably just going to go home. Okay. I got to get some food. I got to be up to go to Home Depot in the morning. Oh, yeah. But, but basically, on. this year, for sure, there will be a second book. <laughs> so it, I don't know when, but. It will be it will be out um and when i say out i mean hopefully uh in people's hands you know um you're gonna but, have to find yeah. a new artist next time if you do a third well Maybe. we'll see oh, all right. i mean it's been it's been three years almost for yeah, i just for seen these one yeah, I just saw he's been busy. That's all I saw. I was like, "Damn!" Uh, I don't know if he's busy. He he got he got work, but he's I haven't seen like full books from him yet for DC. Like, I have a couple of them. And yeah. I know he's getting pages, but I don't know. But all the stuff he's been posting on Twitter, like it's almost mm. like I was like, "Dude, do they let you draw action scenes?" Uh, like I, I don't even follow him on Twitter. I just saw what I yeah. saw at the, at the LCS. Like I was like, "Oh, damn! I know that." I like I like Lucas, man. I I hope I I hope I can keep him on for the third book. Oh, um, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least just to finish the story arc, you know. That's what I want to do. But and then we'll we'll move on from there. Uh, but other than that, man. Things are looking up book wise, but I just gotta get some shit taken care of. And Dude, then... it's always I know, man. Like, well, actually everything was going smooth with me until like a, a year ago. Then it's like one thing after another. It's like fuck it's me or my yeah. wife or what the hell ever. It's like one thing after another. Damn. Yep. Can't catch a break. So But I am glad that you're streaming. I'm not really. Sporadic. You mentioned it, so I decided well, to. Like, it's, it's cool. I don't like doing it by myself. Like literally three people watching. I don't even know who's watching. Ryan, I think left. I give me has given me a pity view right now. He's crashed. <laughs> I don't. Amanda well, left. If you if again, like as long as I got heads up, like I might be able to do it. It will. I'm guessing it. Most likely won't be at a computer for a while. <laughs> Probably not, dude. You're gonna be busy. You gotta work at work and at home now. That sucks. Yeah, hey, well, I don't, I'm, so I was telling my guys Thursday at work. Let's tell my guys at work today. Matter of fact, I was like, if you see me in a Lowe's, it means I've done something wrong and I'm being punished. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't go in there voluntarily. Hell, no, thank you. So, but um, yeah, you said you're gonna have some uh, art for sale. I have I Is have original chance? artwork. Nice. Yeah, I have original artwork from the first book that I never posted or whatever. So there's some stuff. Um, I mean, new new, I don't know, Kotskis or Chotskis or whatever for the yeah. second book. You're Polish. Uh, you know that word. Uh, <laughs> Polish like I'm Mexican. I mean, I know, I know a little bit. But not enough. <laughs> so, um, yeah, dude, it's good to hear from. I miss talking with you. Actually, I didn't know how much I missed it until just now, or not now, but yeah. earlier tonight. 
So yeah, it's fun. But don't make it don't make it uh dude I can't like no I mean I don't know when I I just do this when I feel like it. You know, there might be weeks again, at a time like, I don't feel like it. Again, whatever. It's yeah. like it's like you know you're gonna do something. They're like, hey, I get off work at this time uh on Saturday. It could be Wednesday. You like I might I might fire up a stream. Come up, just then you can always send a link. Eddie, I literally get off of work every day at twelve oh six. Oh well there you go. Midnight. <laughs> so on the week on the weekends if I'm up, maybe I'll chill out. But I don't keep up with any of the stuff anymore. It's just now I don't just, I don't either. Uh, I, I I might catch a random stream like a, uh, you know, if if something's on, I'll have it in the background because I'm always doing something else. Like my daughter's gonna graduate eighth grade this year, so off to high school, bro. Off to high school, yeah. better get that bat. Actually, I'd get a gun, but you live in Chicago where guns are illegal. Another well, one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, be that'd be thirty nine. Mm. I have a few you can borrow. It's all right. I, I'm doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, yeah, you're gonna have to beat them, beat them off. So, what? <laughs> beat the boys away with the bat, dude. <laughs> Calm down. What's wrong oh man, you? somebody's got to clip that shit. What is wrong with you? <laughs> nobody's, nobody's watching. Nobody's gonna clip anything. Oh, oh, I'll let people know. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just. I watch. I'll pop into Weathers. Like if Weathers is streaming, I'll go pop in there, which he doesn't do very often. I watch all the, of course, Kenneth mm -hmm. um, sketch streams. Um, Russ, like he does. Uh, he does the stuff at like four in the morning where they'll they'll do they'll look through a book, and I'll try to catch that, and that's about it. And then Skip, because I consider Skip more of a friend than I do anything else, and I. I'll try to hang out with Skip if he's and he hasn't been around in a while, a couple weeks now. So I wonder if everything's all right. And that's it, dude. I don't watch anybody else. I backed what have I backed? Groken, the only or not only Death Can Save Us, the Shadow Kingdom and Battlebrook Road 2. That's what I backed. That's mm -hmm. it. Yeah, so, I, I haven't backed anything in quite some time. You haven't backed Groken? Yeah, I backed Groken. Well, I was about to but I do, I do want to get that second sketchbook, so I might back it again soon. Oh, um, I just like I, I just knew knew it was coming out, so I got in just to get something really quick. So I don't mm. miss out. So but, then, Battlebrook Road is looking good. I saw a tweet from Eric with that. Yeah, there, like I said the few, colors. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that that looks good. I just again man i just haven't got into it um yeah, i got yeah. like in the last six months i got a new phone so all my passwords for like my twitter my youtube like i can't super chat or anything because my fucking passwords are all messed up uh dude you were spending too much money on super chats well like a while ago dude you were super chatting every stream everybody no 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 Put it this way, man. Again, I'll say I'll say it again. The super chat money that I spend, advertisement. Uh, not only advertisement, but <laughs> when you're used to paying eighteen dollars a day to park. Yeah, I remember you. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean, yeah, I remember, and then like yeah. you get on the job where it's free parking. Like, I'm okay. <laughs> right. I wasn't putting myself in a in a in a bad position. Let's just say that. You know right. I mean? So, um, that I don't know. Like, yeah, I just don't know anything that's going on. Like, I know I'm on the peripherals of seeing. Like, I could kind of see what's going on around here, and it's like none of it interests me. None of the what's called BS, and it's just like whatever. So, yeah, I'm, well, there was always BS, but I again, like, if I could catch anybody, I don't care who's having beef with whoever, like. If it's a show I watch or I'll listen to, I listen to it. You know what I mean? Like, I will check in. I will watch, like, like Phil and Brandon have that hardline show. I'll have that on in the background, you know, because cause I'm, I'm usually uh, with my daughter uh, helping her out with something. 
Right. I got some shit on Mondays. So I'll have that in the background and I'll chime in here and there. But for the most part, there's no regular, sh- like, you know how it was back in the day. Like, we we knew everything that was going on. You know, it was it was almost like must-see TV. You know what I mean? Like, you'd have to watch. You'd, you'd chime in. I think right. you had to, but it was it was fun to do so. Um, but now there's there's just so much stuff going on, and everybody has a stream, and they're all on at the same time or whatever. Again, I'm I'm not hating. I'm just saying it's it's just right now at this point of what's going on in my personal life. It's just it's just hard to, to, to deal with. To yeah, so. yeah, I feel you. And plus, you know. It's baseball season, Eddie. It is baseball season, best season. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, like they got a double. We got a double header, like I said, coming up. It's gonna be a lot of baseball today. I got a new recliner because we moved. I told you, we moved right. And yeah, for twenty four years, I've been married, and for twenty four years, I wanted a recliner, and I finally got one. Nice. I finally got one, and I am the Archie Bunker chair. Oh, it's not that. It's snow. It's not like old man recliner. But opening day, I took the day that day off of work, and I sat in that, that recliner. Is. I sat in that like recliner. Man. Oh, dude, it was fucking glorious. It was glorious, and that's what I'm doing. Now you got to the dog to get you a beer. Uh, uh, my dog died a couple years ago, and I I don't have the heart to get another one. So yeah. I let my wife get a cat that. And I trained her to. She kind of acts like a dog. <laughs> she roughhouses. My cat roughhouses with me. I just called you a sucker. Why? Here's a sucker. So here's a sucker story. So our cat, my wife's cat, died uh, like almost two years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, we had put her down. She wasn't eating. You know, she was she was like 19 years old. Yeah, it's a um, time. I'm yeah. like, hey man, we got this damn turtle. Like, no more heartbeats in this house. You know what I mean? Like, right. Like, Can we get a dog. Can we get a cat. Can we get a dog. Can we get a cat. So my mother-in-law goes on vacation to Mexico. So we watch the cat. So we watch her cat. The cat gets comfortable. My yeah. mother-in-law comes back. She takes the cat. Great. Done so this a couple times now. Now the last, the past time, she leaves the cat with us. The sister-in-law is like, "Hey, I got this cat because she she grooms dogs at this pet shop and mm-hmm. like pet pet smart or whatever. She's a dog groomer right. or animal, and they brought in some cat. And for some odd reason, they're like, "Oh, let's give this cat to mom." So mom's got a new cat. And then I ask my wife, I go, is the new cat going to get along with the old cat? And she's like, I don't know, because the old cat hasn't gone back yet. And I'm like, well, when's the old cat going back? And it's been like a month already. <laughs> it's, not <laughs> mom's cat any, it's not mom's cat anymore. It's like, Eddie's cat. And, I've seen it. and her mom's been at her house a few times, and she's been at her, mouse, her mom's house a few times. And I'm like, When's the cat going back? <laughs> I don't know. Never. So, long <laughs> story short, we might have a cat. <laughs> well, it's the worst things that can happen in life. Yeah, there are. <laughs> <laughs> One just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you gotta laugh, Eddie. You gotta laugh, man. Oh, it's oh yeah. It's, I mean, there's nothing. Like I said, man. I tell my wife all the time. It's done. Like you can't do nothing about it. Like you can't get mad about it. You know. Yeah. But, well, you can, but uh, don't let don't be mad too long. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna get mad. It's gonna happen. So, yeah. I mean, I remember coming back from vacation one time. We had a a, a pipe freeze and bust, and it was, oh. it, it was more than what you had. <laughs> well, I'm sure. So in the winter time too. Oh. Yeah, so that wasn't fun, but I I went through it. That's why I was like, when you're telling me, I'm like, I've been through it, man. And if I was there, trust me, I'd be over there helping you because I've been through it. Like, I've been through yeah. it. So, 
But well, again, at least at least it was clean water, wasn't sewage. Thank goodness. Clean water. Oh yeah, I would fuck. It would been totally terrible. Thank but, goodness. Your water bill's gonna suck too, bro. Oh, so this happened to my brother about three years ago. <laughs> fuck it. I think his, but I, he might have left it up. He, his might have been longer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I know he told me like his water bill for the month was like two G's. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> like the, the well, his toilet have... was running for you know like the whole month. You know before the actual damage happened. You know what I mean? Right. So sometimes yeah. the water the water company will cut a deal though like they'll be like yeah oh, well i calculated it like i did i did the i did the math mm -hmm. uh on the volume on the amount of water that happens you should have had your daughter do the math bro yeah oh, that's, <laughs> i'm telling you man from it's such a big change from last year because last year it, she was in seventh grade and they did it and they didn't prepare you know like they were just like oh yeah it's cool to be on a team to do something you know mm -hmm. and they didn't prepare and they they missed placing top five like like by a, a few points you know what i mean right so this year they're like we're getting this shit you know and every day after school they're in like this little uh whatever like after school thing where they practice specifically for it and uh and yeah she got a perfect score in the algebra so so how much water did she say you're going to be paying or how much money is she going yeah. to say you're going to be paying? Huh. so we did the math and it's <laughs> like uh it's probably going to cost somewhere around five hundred dollars oh. is what we used in that day <laughs> you might call the water the water company because oh yeah uh, we're yeah, we already left the message. Yeah, because they might say, "Show us how you fixed it, and then we'll we'll you know." Because it's usually the city runs it, right? It's it's not private, right? Nah, we're in Oakland, so yeah, we we pay water and garbage. Yeah, but um, I mean, it's a city owned. Co it's a well, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's not privatized. Yeah, although it yeah. should be, then make it better. But <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm, I'm worried community. about it, but I'm not worried about it. Oh yeah, there's um, plenty of other shit to worry about right now. You're gonna cut gonna drywall. Shut my water off. Thanks. <laughs> are you Thanks. just gonna cut the drywall? Or are you gonna like take it out and uh, replace it? So after I move everything, I have to see. Like obviously, it was only two inches of water, mm -hmm. but I, like I said, I've been meaning to remodel, so I'm probably just gonna cut like four foot down so I could lay a sheet, you know, sideways. Right. And I figure it's probably going to be about 25 sheets. So it's like, it's going to be like 400 bucks to drywall. Um, yeah, the, the labor but, too. Yeah. Well, I work construction, so I know yeah. a lot of guys don't go over yeah. there. And you'll you know. be able to get it hauled off pretty easy because of that too. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, these guys will probably fucking take drywall from work, and you know they'll charge me whatever, but it's probably just extra sheets that they got, you know. Right, I mean? right. That's how I got my garage done. Um, but that's about it, man. All right, man. I'll probably take off, and then uh, right, until next time. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Take care. See you. Bye.
My mind is stronger. The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. Not ready yet.
This fight is over. The crown is near. The unburied are formed from human corpses that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, I could only flee from it, and I would expect any other...
time to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. My path becomes clearer. I am returning to town. I've got some brand new goods you might be interested in. By the grace of the ancients, may your... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Music. 
birds today. Please look. Embrace your power, and you will survive. I will not do that. I can find no references to the true fate of the Blood Clan cousins. Some crumbling papers hint that they may be the the mythical Not in that spirit. Can it? It cannot be done. I need spirit. I must wait to use that ability. I encountered the most troublesome bats in the caves outside Westmarch. My companions and I had sheltered there with the intent of organizing my many records when the miserable creatures appeared and tore several of the scrolls to pieces. Truly, the world shall be a poorer place for this lost wisdom. It is not ready yet. Not enough spirit. It cannot I don't have enough spirit. My understanding is low. That ability is not yet recharged. 
Moving on up. Ooh, a goblin. I must wait to use that ability. I need spirit. That ability is not yet recharged. <laughs> it cannot be done. Loop. Trash. Trash. Oh, no. 
Yes. I will not do that. What you ask is impossible. Oh no, we got a shit storm. to survive in the middle of a shit storm scavengers who are the last in the very rocks beneath their feet they may appear as naggy giants to their foes but the few parts of life will reveal that they're a shit storm but it's terrible what's up Jeb I see you There's so much shit everywhere. I might die. Dude, that's a lot of shit. You got poison and fire. And... Good lord. Is this a summoner? Thank you. What's up, Michael? Jeff, are you still there? Sorry, I had a big shit storm. I had to kill all those dudes. Holy shit. Hey, do you come on stream? Do you want to come in here? Do you want to link? Do you come in and shoot the shit?
Let's see how Russ is doing. Oh, picked up another backer. Seven dollars away from eleven thousand. Yay, Russ. That's all right. Michael, same thing with you. You've been around. If you want to come in, let me know. I'll shoot you the link. Otherwise, it's just going to be me solo, and I'm not the best solo streamer. Oh, another shit storm, damn it. This shit's hard at low level. Not hard, but it takes a while. Takes a while. That ability is not yet recharged. Oh, we got these summoners, yeah. Let's take care of these guys. It cannot be done. One more summoner. Yay. I must wait to use that ability. You guys came late. We had Eddie on earlier. We were actually talking about stuff. Eddie Winkler. You don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Look at our loot, see if there's any upgrades. Mm. Yep. Eh. Kind of. Hit this pile on. Oh, a shit storm. Yay. Oh shit, there's a yawn.
Well, if you ever want to, Jeb, you tell me and I'll let you, I'll tell you how it goes. All you really need is a microphone and a headset. I am going to have to go use the restroom to get a, a drink here in a minute after we do this. I call them dungeons, but rift, rift. That's right, rift. Yet oh. oh, we got a boss. Let's kill a summoner. I'll get that in a minute, Jeff. Let me clear this pack. That ability is not yet recharged. Oh, dude, come on. I must wait to use that ability. I'm about to summon the boss. I don't even have D3 installed anymore. Last couple of seasons I played as a friend, did a couple of riffs with me and got to 300 without even having my armor set complete. I just wanted something that's like kind of I could just sleepwalk through. And it, I've never played this on the PC. I've always played on PS4. So I did like it. I, I like it, though. Like I'm one of the few that like D3. So. Most people shit all over it, but hell, I think it's way better than D4. The pacing of D3 is really good. I think, for me. Oh, shit. Well, I got a summoner. Is 
That's the first riff on this character I've cleared. I'm low level, I'm only level 13. So it takes a while to kill things. It is not ready yet. I mean, I've got D4 and I can't stand it. It is so slow. So slow. Let's see what we get. Oh, hold on. I like the gameplay overall. I didn't like the item in game grind. Special way is way different from D2, but I think I like the rift system. I mean, I'm kind of a fan of it. The, the gear, yeah, it's not my favorite, though. The... Long ago, I would open rifts with the Nephilim to help them train for battle. They fought bravely, facing down enemies in places pulled from the deepest corners of their memories. Ours is a race of great power, but we are nothing unless we temper it with skill. If you are to achieve your birthright, then conquer the rifts and take your rightful place among us. My stomach feels strange. Your valor is Anita has raised me to new heights. There we go. One rift down. See how Russ is doing. Two thirty seven got another one over eleven thousand. Yay. Three hours to go. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, Jeb. I'm tired. Nobody's talking in the chat. I'm trying, buddy. We'll see if I make it. I haven't done a long stream in a good while. I'll try. I will be right back. I'm going to use the restroom and get probably... I might get a Coke. I need some caffeine. Uh, one season I was grinding with kind of mf -er and I finally got one red set item. I don't know if I've ever see, see, even seen a red set item. If I remember correctly, it wasn't even better than the golden one. I'm going to try to get my Hadrix gift, and we'll see from there what I do. But this is a good game where I could just play and do something, maybe have a – podcast on or whatever but i'll be back if you're still here i'll be back give me like five minutes three minutes five three to five herb
And I'm back. Oh yeah, we gotta go through our see if there's any upgrades. That's an upgrade. No, no, not really. No, no, no. Maybe. Not really. Yeah. Not really. No. Side grade. Dexterity. Cool. Let's upgrade Hadrig. How do we upgrade? I forget. Not backing anything new until I get everything I'm waiting. That could take a while. I don't know what you back, Michael, but it could. It could, it could very well. I could tell you, though, Michael, that you can back Russ with confidence. <laughs> I've dug up some new things for you to take a or Kenneth. Yes, I live once more. An artifact. I think you. The Nephilim. That fool actually killed me. Of course, this was. Not but my yeah, I, I understand. I through that door, and I imagine it won't be my last. <laughs> Fortunately, I am well prepared. I'm excited so this time because I got some art from Russ on this campaign. So. Memory. Is not truly coming back to life. Yeah, I'm pretty. I say those excited. Understand the sheer one. Are you watching the replay, Michael? Sultan, Kuhn. you might be. All right, I want to figure out how to upgrade. I know how to do it. Train, there it is. I want to salvage, salvage all. I didn't salvage, oh, salvage all the blues. Salvage all the yellows let's go put our gems in the bank
Let's get a pet out, because don't they collect your gold for you? I think they do. Where do we get them at in PC? Is it over here? No. Where do you get pets? Skills, inventory. Is it inventory? No. Maybe I don't have any. But I, I feel like I should have a pet or two. Maybe I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. What's this down here? There we go. I don't want wings. No. Pets. Uh, you're not the only one. I have my wallet closed for four, at least four, what used to be my favorite streamers. So. Yeah, I understand, fellas. I think we'll take our Murloc pet. Should we do another one? Yes. You know what, though? I'm going to look at something real quick. I think it's... A monk. I'm saying go... Fist of Thunder, Lashing Tail Kick. So we have Fist of Thunder and we have Lashing Tail Kick. I don't have Sweeping Wind yet. I definitely don't have Dashing Strike, I don't think. Oh, I do. Oh, I'm already using it. That's why. Exploding Palm. Oh, it's still locked out though. All right. We'll just keep rocking this. There's still guys, though, though, you know, there's still creators out there. I feel like you could back the confidence, you know, Graham Nolan, Kenneth Roquefort, of course. I mean, I feel a little foolish about my for supporting some of these people. I ignored a lot of red flags in the past. Some of their recent behavior is rather disturbing. Uh, I don't even, <laughs> I'm trying to stay away. Trying to stay away. I was talking to Eddie before, like before you guys joined, I actually got a, a mainstream book. I ordered one. It'll be here Monday. It'll be the first mainstream book I've gotten in a while. 
Oh, I hope it's good. That'd be cool if it was. We will see. Uh, yeah, I have one. Now I have more for Kenneth. It's okay. Oh, yeah, RT Bear. Well, I mean, I was telling the guys earlier, I'll show you guys too since I already showed it. But, you know, I haven't backed as much. So I have a little more money on hand. So I commissioned somebody in the community to do that for me. So instead of buying books, I'm getting an 11 by 17 freaking Space Marine. Can't wait. So, is that to get excited about? And I have two books from Russ Leach on my desk right now. So, I think he's a safe bet. And I'm a fan of his art. So, that helps too. Big fan. All right, let's do it. Embrace your power and you will survive. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we need our rune. Wind blast every third. Uh, I'm thinking of Rainy doing Slanesh next time. She has a commission open. That's right in her wheelhouse. Yeah. I could see that. There's always those dream like you match up, you know, of like I wish I could get this artist to do this or that. But that what I showed you is from Elliot Rodriguez, and I saw him do a Viking Wolf thing from Mark Poulton one time. So I know like he could do those big, huge, like big characters with big armor and. And it, you know what? I mean, it helps that Elliot uh, on Twitter is a really good guy. So. That ability is I always not thought he was a good dude. Ah! There's another guy you guys, if you want to back, like you can back with confidence is Mark Poulton. You know, he'd be another one. But yeah, art. I mean, I'm getting. I'll probably, I might get my book today. Actually, let me look. I don't need chat. I think I might get my black and white today. Let me look.
Amanda, we. Yeah, my it's out for delivery. So I will be getting my black and white today. In a moral compass. Amanda, we called you out. You showed us, I showed those covers and one of them was not a Rocafort cover. It's, it was, the book was drawn by Rocafort, but it's not a Rocafort cover. Shame on you. I'm going to have to, I'm, on, I'm thinking about pulling your Rocafort card from you. I'm very disappointed. My day is ruined. My disappointment is immense. Well, my day won't be ruined unless the Yankees lose. Then my day will be ruined. No, but literally it's called covers from Rocafort, not great covers. It's Kenneth Rocafort covers. Don't give me the ups the, the that base. <laughs> it's like you calling me out for something I addressed during the last stream. Man, I'm calling all the baddies. For shame, Amanda. Well, I mean, you know, your schedule doesn't ma match up with mine anymore. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, Brand of our the gas. Where did Jav go? He, did he leave? Still here. I thought Amanda might have chased him off. I thought, you know, Amanda's too busy. She's got guys sending her flowers at work, you know. Still at 237. It's unfortunate. Try hip comics too.
Hip Comics is like the Amazon of comic book stores where they have a bunch of people that sell comics. It's pretty good, so I... Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it's not out for delivery. See, I updated my address, but Art still su mailed my mailed my book to the lat to my last um, my old house. Even though I went in and I updated my address, so I'm not sure if it's being forwarded. Or not. I mean, delivered today or not. Might not get here till Monday. Hmm. You grabbed Lady Mechanica stuff from Amazon, you mean? Here, this is the site I like. Let me pull it up. And just whatever you're looking for, you could just put like action 901. And then bam, it comes up. And these are all the different vendors that have it. Or you could put, I don't know, velocity. I could spell there you go that's not there boom velocity number two of four and there we go we know what that is right there And I got a, let me see, my collections, purchases. I got a Kenneth cover. I got that one. So yeah, my long box has already been started, but I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have a long box of nothing but Roko Ford stuff by the end of the year. But I was telling them like, with the independent stuff, how in the hell are you gonna track what, what every? It's easy to like track like what he's done on DC and all that, but like the independent stuff, he's, you're going to have to ask him like, okay, what have you, what have you done independently? <laughs> like Russ, he's doing a, um, a King cryptid issue. 
And I would have never known if I heard it, I heard him talk about it. I think on his last stream. And I would have known, but now I know. Mall. I wonder how you, if you can make the little murlocs make the sound. Don't stand in fire or ice. Adam. Yay. Ooh, shoulders. Is not ready yet. Thank <laughs> you. 
Rampage's ability is not yet recharged. This fight is over! Ooh, the lightning one. Go, go, go! Your flaws are revealed. Go, 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 before it runs out. The gods favored me. Nice. I could probably go. I'm lazy. I don't want to go nowhere. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. I like the spicy chicken biscuits from Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I don't want to wait in line. Actually, I don't even want to leave my my house if I'm if I'm being completely honest. That ability is not yet to be charged. I keep waiting for my second wind to kick in. I don't know if it's going to. Maybe I don't have it in me anymore.
think the spicy chicken biscuits is the chicken is spicy. I don't think there's no sauce with that. So I went shopping. Was it Thursday morning with the wife? We went to look at some area rugs, and it was the morning. So and I was like, "Oh, let's stop at McDonald's, get breakfast," because I like McDonald's breakfast, as you know, John. So I was like, "I'll get a sausage, egg, and cheese and McMuffin." So we go there and we get our food, and we're driving off. And I open it, and it's like sausage, egg, and a little slice of ham. Or, I mean, egg and cheese and a little slice of ham. I was so mad. So mad. Let's check in on Ross. Dude, how come it says two hours to go, but it says it closes at 10, 16 a.m. Central Daylight Time? That's like four hours from now. That's not two hours from now. I'm just saying. The math don't add up. Oh, damn, Jeremy Burtz. Amanda, what I need is one of the nor regulars to come on that will join the chat, that will join the panel with me and talk to me, or else I'm not going to make it. Oh, what's up, Ken? We were just talking about you, as we as we normally do. We were just uh, discussing how. Amanda doesn't know if you drew a cover or somebody else drew a cover. <laughs> no! Don't stand in bed. Right. Yes, have fun at work, Amanda. If any, let us know if any strange men propose to you. <laughs> You've been mean to me, Amanda. I don't I don't feel bad. Whatever. Well yeah, that's what I'm saying, John. If a normal dude proposes to her, I, that's not interesting. I don't want to know about the strange ones. That's what we want to know about. Live on stream. I must wait. 
I should go whine to my wife and see if she'll go get me some breakfast before she goes to work. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to trace some carrion facts, but I found shocking. No, I'm not gonna ask her to make me a sandwich. I'm... <laughs> She's awesome. You know what she does? So her weekends are two. Wednesday and Thursday. And she works first shift and I work second shift, but she stays up late on Wednesday and she cooks me some a nice meal and it's for when I get home. So she stays up and cooks dinner and it's ready at midnight when I get home. Wednesday she made chili mac. And it was great. I was sad because there were no leftovers. I think tonight we'll do breakfast for dinner. You kidding me, John? Like you should have saw the care I got after I had surgery. My wife, like, is a champ. So I, these guys, these kids at work, they're like, I don't I want to be married. I don't want to, my dude. If it wasn't for my wife, I'd be freaking miserable. Miserable. Sugary. I don't know what, sir. Oh, yeah, it went well. And I was babied for like two weeks, three weeks, probably, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. That's over. I'll bring that down. Uh oh. It is not ready yet. If anyone wants to link and wants to join and talk, let me know. Everybody in here is a regular. I think I could trust, even John, I think you can trust. Even John.
Well, I mean, what else are you going to do if you join the panel? I mean, you could just have your avatar there, but that, I think that might be a little awkward. Yeah. Let's go check. Let's go see how Russ is doing real quick. That ability is not yet recharged. Let's take a look. No backers. Bow, bow, bow. It's funny, I have no mic. I joined the voice channels on Discord and only chat. Uh, Uh, Kenneth says he doesn't have much to say. <laughs> That's normal, Ken. That's normal. I mean, you would be like that strange guy that you come in here and you don't talk. It would be like that strange guy that's proposing to Amanda. Just saying. So, when we were younger, Kenneth, what was the, hold on, when we were young, the MTV, what was that guy's name? The John Green show on MTV? I think it was John, what was his name? He always did terrible things to his parents. Like one time he bought a petting zoo and just like put it in his parents' house. What was that guy's name? Tom Green. Yeah. He had that quiet guy that would just sit there and not say a word. That would be John. <laughs> Drinking coffee or whatever he did. Oh, Ken met Tom Green. I heard he's funny. Well, you could chat without being. I've never seen it, but I've heard it is a cult classic. Almost boss. We're about to skip the boss. No! Okay. Don't stand in bad. Oh! Okay. Damn, that, I thought that would have got the boss for sure. Getting close. Getting close. I don't know what bed lore is. Like I said, I don't keep up anymore. Seth Green. 
Oh, Seth Green. Which one's Seth Green? I know Tom Green. Which one is Seth Green the short redhead dude? Yeah. That dude was in a terrible movie about rollerblades. It was really bad. But he also does robot chicken, which is funny. That rollerblading movie was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Robot chicken is good. Yeah. What the hell was that rollerblading movie? It was terrible. <laughs> I remember my little brother liking it, and I knew right away that he had really bad taste in movies. That ability is not yet recharged. I just remember Seth Green being in it. This boss is hitting me pretty hard. I must wait to use that ability. Oh no. Oh no. That ability is not yet recharged. Oh. Yeah, we do. We do calm down and run away. I must wait longer. That healing potion didn't heal me for very much. Oh no! Not good. There we go. All the spells face tank. Airborne, that's it. Thank you, Jeff. 
What's the Reaper's Kiss? Transmog, nice. I am returning to town. Well fought, Nephilim. My strides grow longer. I wonder if we could see that. Let's see. This cat belongs to my mother. This dog belongs to oh, babies. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? You like, you like pets, huh? Uh, so anyway. So llama. It belongs to my mother. Here. Tell me if you guys hear it. Belongs to my mother. This dog belongs to my father. My parents love these animals because they help them cope with stress. Unfortunately, they have a little bit too much stress to cope with these days, so I'm going to have to get them some more animals. Fanatical. Nubian goat. Do parents like Nubian goats? Sure, they do. You guys like parents? My parents like llamas. <laughs> Hours, which is good because that gives me just enough time to prepare the home for the new pets. Okay, this is perfect. We're almost done here. We've, we've covered the floors and soft blankets for the animals to sit down. <laughs> and I like to lie down cozy on the floor. And mommy and daddy will come home and they'll see their new babies. You my mommy and I'm your baby. All we need now is the animals. <laughs> My parents are going to be home from work soon. Hi, Dad. Hi. How you doing? How you doing? You like, you like that plan? That's so anyway. We got a llama, and look, we got donkeys come come see all the new friends. Oh. <laughs> Are you two? Let me see your llama here. You don't like the new pets? Oh, the goose is on me. Oh, the goose is on me. It's time. It's what? It's all over the place. You're mad? I'm spelling animal crackers? There's crap all over the floor. How are you doing? That's Tom Green. There you go. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's when I was in. I don't know. I must have been. A, I was a teenager, so that's some Generation X stuff right there. You, <laughs> oh my, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, there's a difference between Seth Green and Tom Green for sure. <laughs> Yay, he got a backer.
that ring there. Let's see if we got upgrades. No, that's not an upgrade. This two-hander, we don't want two-hander. Helm, not an upgrade. Focus, we're not worried about. Gloves are pretty good. Helm, can't use. I don't know what I'd do to my son if I came home with a bunch of barnyard animals in my house. But I wouldn't be nearly as calm and collected as that dude's as that dude's parents were. I promise you that. Pretty sure my son would be picking his ass up off the floor. <laughs> Can you imagine? Coming home and seeing that. So Jackass was what the, was the 2000s or 20, like late 2000s, early 2010s? I don't even remember. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but his dad had a job where he had to wear a suit and tie to work. Like, and then you come home and you got a donkey pissing in your living room. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Oh, and donkeys they don't pee a little bit that's like a, that's like a that's like a fire hydrant <laughs> oh man should we do another rift I don't know what while Kenton is here, let's take a look at Groken. No backers. Oh, congratulations, Kenneth, by the way. 75K. Oh, dude. Yeah. It smelled like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, you'd have to completely... They didn't have a... <laughs> You saw he didn't even put he put blankets down. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. That's terrible. Not in a million years would I do that to my dad because I'm I know what would happen. Like, oh my goodness.
Yeah, Marome, we were talking about – well, we were talking about Seth Green, and then I was thinking about that terrible Rollerblade movie. Uh, you can't adapt out of a full-grown adult son. Can't adapt adopt out. Dude, I, don't, I can't even imagine. Cannot even imagine. I do not know. I don't remember, Amanda. It's been so long since I've seen it. I was a kid. I mean, I was a teenager when I saw it. I guess we'll do another dungeon one. Why not? Amanda, are you supposed to be at work? I'm going to go see Planet of the Apes next month. I'm looking forward to it. Speaking of movies. I must wait to use that ability. I'm going to take my daughter. Though the champions are larger and the lunatics more devastating, it is the shaman priests who lead the fallen. These shrunken, unintimidating demons can easily kill an enemy with their fire. You get your hair back in the man bun so you can go to work, Amanda. <laughs> there was one night, there was one stream where Amanda just got her new computer. She didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so she joined the stream on her new computer and the camera was on and she did not know and she was sitting there live and she it must have only been like 10 seconds but i had to go back and edit out was, edit that out i remember because i didn't know how to work youtube and it took me like three hours to edit out 10 seconds <laughs> uh. Well, I didn't edit it out. I, I think I just blurred you, blurred it out or whatever. I don't know what I did. That ability is not yet to be charged. Ha! A vicious strike. I don't even remember Surf Ninja's jab. That, but that'd be like, that'd be Ken's jam. Shit, I could see real quick. I could see Kenneth drawing a comic with surf ninjas. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up now. Hold on. Clear some of these mobs first. See if it looks just as terrible as Airborne. Surf Ninjas. Oh, it's a parody? Yeah, I know those guys. I've never seen this movie before, but I know... That. Leslie Nielsen, Rob Snyder, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let's bring this. Surf Ninjas. There we go.
<laughs> yeah, you heard Rocafort said it's not a good idea to combine them. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, we've gone through your your favorite movies and you know how disappointed George and I are in, in your in your in your cinematic taste. We don't need to go over it again. <laughs> Mm. trying to think about terrible movies oh who somebody was talking oh it was on stats channel there was a movie a guilty movie from the 90s that called robot jocks and it was about big Bex. and that's a, a bad movie that i liked yeah let's see Let me see if I can pull up the trailer. Yeah. Here, I'll share it. It's a new age of combat. Human beings, genetically engineered to be the best fighters in history. Two champions. It isn't over until someone wins. <laughs> At war with each other. Kill it! I have already killed you. Two invincible men. Let's finish it, Alexander. Here now. The ultimate killing machines. See, that's cool, though, like that, right there. Ultimate killing right there. Machines. I'm going to get in this thing, and I'm going to kick your... But that's really bad. I think her name is Athena, so it's like Achilles and Athena. That's terrible, but I must have saw that movie like 15 times. Look, Ken said he watched it. Yeah, they're all fighting. <laughs> I remember, like, you know, it's been a while, but I remember they were like fighting on Earth, and like for some, for no apparent reason, they decided they all they had to lift off and like fight in space and, or fight in the air or whatever. Like, yeah, <laughs> I just like the mechs. Back when like Mech Warrior. It's a big game. I must to use that ability. Your claws are revealed. <laughs> no, it's a guilty pleasure though. Is I my brother watched Airborne and I watched Robot Jocks. Oh, then that movie, uh, yeah, cool. That was a terrible movie, and I watched that. Act. I crave a cool. I did. I tried to watch that again a few years ago, and it was, it's terrible, cool. It 
It's like a a bad mix of Star Wars and Conan. Yeah. yeah. No, not Cole the Conqueror from the Shadow Kingdom, John, but Kroll. Oh no, now I feel bad. <laughs> I liked it when I was a kid. My path becomes clearer. I remember playing the game, the Kroll game on Atari, where you had the, um, it's not a ninja star. Yeah, exactly. You got it. Yeah. You had the, whatever it's called. Yeah, that game, they had it on Atari. You had that star you ran around with. And then you had the one-eyed guy that could only see his death, his own death. Yeah. The glaive, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are making it better. Thanks for participating in the chat. And if you haven't backed, go check out the Shadow Kingdom. I get, I think Kevin Sorbo is in a isn't he in a he's in a B movie about Cole the Conqueror. I think it's called Cole the Conqueror. I think it's been a while. Uh, the Beastmaster. It... I watched, I think, the second one because there was two of them, but I never liked either of them, really. I remember watching Willow and walking around, going around and calling my little brother Peck. <laughs> uh, Peck. He used to get mad. <laughs> you wanted to set a ferret? Yeah, the two ferrets. Let me see. I think Sorbo. I think he was. Let me see. Call the Conqueror was the name of that movie. Yeah. I wonder if there's a trailer. Let's see if there's a trailer. Indeed, there is. No, this is ninety seven. Who are you? Call of Atlantis. You're wasting your time here. Every man in my legion. Is of noble blood. My blood's red as any man's. He was a warrior slave until fate made him king. Long live Cole! All slaves of Illusia are now free. Go too fast, Cole. Not fast enough. But in his search for a queen. Panara is pure as virgin snow. Which match is not that pure. He was seduced. My queen! Join me, and the earth shall be our empire. By the powers of darkness. You said he was dead! The dog knows a few tricks, that's all. Now, Cull alone has the strength Stop him! to take a stand against Stop evil. Him. What are you doing? I can't take a man's life. Now you tell me. Find him. In the queen's name, lay down your arms. In the king's name, lay down yours. Kill him. Raider! And then we'll rule together. But he is about to discover that magic holds the greatest power of all. From Hercules the Legendary Journeys, Kevin Sorbo is called the Conqueror. 
Where the hell are the lizard men? Yeah, Wayne's World. Swing. The Hercules show was terrible. He was in. Man, you guys got to work on Saturday. I hate when I have to do that. Take it easy, John. How much longer I have left? The Yankees play at eleven. That's in four hours. No, don't jinx yourself, Amanda. Oh, we got a whole sh a whole pack of them. Got a guy out my work who just put in his notice. He's leaving. So that means I'm gonna have to put in more time. He's not leaving. He's going to a different. He's put in for a different job in the, another part of the company, but he's leaving where I'm working. So we're gonna be short manned. So hopefully I get a couple of weekends, four weekends before that happens. Somewhere there. So someone someone has to do the work. Well, usually the owner does the work. Oh, I see, I see. 
I'm very excited to just watch baseball today. Sit in my recliner and watch baseball. Although I told Kenneth my I told Kenneth my trick, Amanda. So today, before my wife gets home, I'm going to wipe down all the kitchen counters. I'm going to sweep the entire floor. I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to clean the bathroom. So when she gets home, she'll she'll make me peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Although she makes these uh, Reese's or I don't know what they are, but she makes these no-bake bars that are like peanut butter and chocolate. Maybe I'll get some of those. I don't know. We'll see. The cookies, yes. Wouldn't it be easier to cook than clean? I clean and then sh I do the dishes. So, like, yes. Yeah. So, like, if I be a good boy, I get rewarded. She gives me treats like a dog. <laughs> what else does she do good? Oh, buttermilk pie. Mm. But yeah, I'll probably clean between between the games. Yeah. Yep. I do like this game. I don't care what people say. A lot of there's a lot of hate for Diablo 3. But I like it. It doesn't take itself too serious. It is not ready yet. No! Ooh, that was close. Oh shit. It cannot be done. AC Milan's gonna play here in an hour or two. I wanna see if Christian Pulisic gets in there and scores a goal. That'd be dope. Milan. When I was a kid, when I was a teenager, AC Milan was the biggest soccer club in the world. If you would have told me that the big the biggest star on that team would have been an American, I would have laughed at you. But here we are in 2024, and the biggest star on AC Milan is an American player. Well, let's not say the biggest star because Giroud is probably the biggest star, but the best player. How about that?
but Giroud is getting older. Not as good as he used to be. I bet Amanda wouldn't mind if Olivier Giroud had proposed to her. The Yankees are playing Cleveland. Wonder who the Phillies have today. Let me go look. I keep track of the Phillies. Because sometimes George and I talk a little baseball. Maybe I'll watch the Phillies a little too between innings. Let's see, Phillies. They're playing the Pirates at three. The Pirates are my dad's team, and he used to talk about Roberto Clemente. Roberto Clemente is my dad's favorite player. But they have this kid for the Pirates. He's like 6'7", plays shortstop. It's insane. O'Neal Cruz. I don't know what country. He might be from the Dominican. Fails. Indeed, that's correct. I was talking about O'Neill Cruz. I, I, my, I was, I'm very schooled in Roberto Clemente, but there's a kid from Pittsburgh, O'Neill Cruz, Dominican. Yes, yeah, from the Dominican. Yeah, was correct. But more importantly than O'Neill Cruz being from Dominican Republic is Juan Soto is from the Dominican Republic. Juan Soto is mashing right now. Matter of fact, I've got my Yankees, my pinstripe pride shirt and my camouflage Yankees hat on right now. I'm repping. I'm representing. I might get out the number seven jersey today. Old Mickey Mantle. Battle of Pennsylvania. 
Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. I thought I was the only baseball fan. I think a man is just being nice by asking. Ken, I know you're into surfing. What else are you into? I know you like going on hikes, but it's sports. Any sports? I wonder. I wonder. That ability is not yet to be charged. My strength fails. Oh yeah, you missed it. Or Eddie would be jealous, bro. I mean, Eddie Winkler, he was on. He was here earlier. We were talking. He's a huge Braves guy. Huge Braves fan. He does not like me. Well, he does like me, but he doesn't like that I'm a Yankees fan. Because the 90s, yeah. Oh, soccer. Let's get let's guess Kenneth's position. I think Kenneth would be a like a a right fullback. Or maybe a center mid. Oh, I died. This is not going well. Dang. Maybe I'm not going to make it. All right. We got loot. That's an upgrade. That's definitely an upgrade. Defense, yeah, I was right. Yay. Well, center mid was not right, but left, I guess, right back, but that's kind of close. The center back. Well, back when we were kids, center backs, there was two we would have, well, Back when I played, you didn't have two center backs and two. You would have like a we call it a sweeper and a stopper. But things are changing. And like now the goalies play, you play out of the back, and that wasn't a thing. That's probably the recent development, what the last, probably Barcelona. 
with Messi and Suarez and Busquets all play for Barcelona, they started playing out of the back instead of the goalkeeper booting it. Upgrade. Is that one handed? Yeah, that's an upgrade. Swap it over here. Oh, that's a big upgrade. Oh, amulet. There we go. All right. I am returning to town. Maybe Ken, or Russ might have got more backers if he like would have paid Kevin Sorbo to like talk about the Shadow Kingdom. <laughs> uh, not as a monk. How do you if I was playing Crusader, I'd use a shield. But as a monk, I use two weapons: dual wield. So I, you can't, I don't know. I don't even know if there's a viable shield spec as a monk. Usually you like fist weapons, but as I'm leveling, I'm just taking whatever does the highest amount of damage. I used to be the Libera, Libera. I guess that is what Americans call a center back. So I learned to play in Germany and they did the stereotypical thing. When I started playing, they said, I, I joined a local club team where we lived off base. And they said, this kid's an American. He'll be a good goalkeeper. <laughs> so that's what I played goalie. Salvage. That stereotype is not around much anymore. Now that that you, the young, what well, we got a kid playing for Juventus as a center midfielder, and he's doing a real nice job for him. We have Christian playing Christian Pulisic on AC Milan. Does a nice job on the right. The kid playing in Germany right now. Claudio Reina, he's playing in Germany for Dortmund, but man, they're not playing him. They loaned him out, actually. He's not having a good time of it. Ausputzer. I lived in Germany when they beat Argentina in the World Cup. I remember... Like fireworks, fireworks were going off everywhere after that game. Now that was, of course, Argentina before Messi. Way before, I don't even mess, way before Messi. That was in what, probably the early 90s, I'm thinking. Maybe late 80s. I think it was early 90s. 
I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get my black and white until Monday. That's a bummer. But next week, I'll get that Superman cover I ordered, the Superman book I ordered, and then I'll get the black and white. So I'll I'll get two Kenneth Roquefort covers next week. Jeremy says his black and white is expected on Monday as well. And Ken, Ken is encouraging my new hobby of collecting his covers. <laughs> I'm a Frankfurt guy, but I'm not following closely anymore. Can't stand the diving and tactical fouls. Frankfurt. <laughs> I don't know if, I mean, my Bundesliga team would be Dortmund. Definitely be Dortmund. But I mean, the team, the, the big club, not even, it's not a big team, but the club team we would watch when I was over there would be Saarbrücken. I should have used my Texas address or I would have hand delivered it. I wouldn't picked up. Uh, my Battle Brick Road, I met Eric and he, he gave it, he gave, he hand delivered it to me, my Battle Brick Road. I think, I don't remember, did he? I feel like he did. I feel like we met at a quick trip. Speaking of Battlebrook Road, that page that he showed with the new colors, uh, people are talking about the colors, but I noticed like his um, the improvements he's made. Here, let me pull it up. We could talk about it real quick. Because there's a there's a particular panel that he would really struggle with even a couple of years ago. Here we go. So here's that page that he showed and he wanted to show off his, his new colors and yeah, they're great for sure. But this top left panel, there is no way like the eye placement is so much better than it just was a few years ago. So you look at all this and like, of course you want to look at the middle panel, but this right here with the foreshortening, but the eye placement back here is so much better. And he's got this guy with the eye looking down and like everything's placed. Well, it's like, he's, he just keeps getting better and better. Real excited after I saw this. Uh, Jeff says, sorry, Brooklyn really messed up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, the, everybody likes Kent likes the middle panel for sure. But like, this is what I'll say about Eric, and I don't know if this is from him, like lettering so much, but he is really good with sequentials because you don't. There's no bubbles on here. We don't know what's going on, but if you watch the pan, if you look at the panels, you can tell exactly what's going on. So he's really good like that. Even in the Battle Brook one, it was the same thing. But it was really good stuff.
Good stuff. But yeah, his, she's doing a really good job on the colors, the gal he's got. You almost like want to shield your eyes when you're looking at the flames here. No, we're not getting put. No, we're too busy making books. Amanda's trying to derail the Groken train by by wanting all these add-ons. <laughs> Scarecrow is one of the cooler characters. I love him, and I better because. I paid him to draw me one, so. A new monitor? I like Samsung monitors, but that's just me and Maromi. I've got a 32-inch curved. It's older, but, I mean, it still holds up. Then my other one's just a... Just an old Dell that I throw my browsers and everything on the right monitor. Yeah, I, yeah Scarecrow does look cool. Uh, Jeremy, he's laughing at Amanda. <laughs> Besides, I think Amanda's asking for the wrong merch. If I was to ask for an add on, I'd be asking for like a statue. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> Kenneth says I use a Cintiq. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, he doesn't have to do anything, just supply an image. <laughs> and now we got Jeremy asking for shirts. I didn't, this is not what I, yeah. I am going to get an iPad, I think. I was talking about it earlier. Even though I don't like Apple, I think I'm going to have to get an iPad. <laughs> Poor Kenny comes over here. We're all asking for merch. <laughs> Sorry, Ken. They just want more Groken, I guess. I mean, I don't know, you know. So I showed it earlier, Kenneth, but I'm going to show it again because I'm super excited about my uh, my new my my drawing that I'm having done. Oh, it's going to be so sick! I can't wait. Uh, magnets. Look, after the Roca Force sticker, like, I'm good. We got the Roca Force sticker. That's what, like, probably my favorite, like, thing of all the campaigns I backed. The extra was the, the Roca Force sticker. Uh, back Shadow Kingdom. Yes. Shadow Kingdom. Let's take a look. How many more? Let's see. What's so 
at 1016 Central Daylight Time, I'm going to be part of the club, Amanda. I'm just saying. All right. Um, if you if the magnets are too heavy, they fall off the fridge. That's don't make them too heavy, because then I get mad. Then my wife keep, it doesn't matter how heavy they are, and if they fall off the fridge, my wife keeps putting them on there, even though they're too heavy, and it becomes a whole thing. Oh, we didn't refresh when we looked at Russ, did we? Let's refresh. Well, oh, still 2.38. One hour. I don't understand. One hour to go, but according to... I think there web something wrong with the website, Amanda. I mean, I'm not used... Oh, there you go. Get your ass out there and sell Groken like you sell those Girl Scout cookies, Amanda, and you can get a magnet. So explain to me, users of Fund My Com go Fund My Comic. I've not used this before, but it says ends on April thirteenth, twenty twenty four at ten sixteen a.m. It says one hour to go, but it's only seven forty five. Mm, yeah, it's a it's a tough predi predicament predicament. Amanda. Oh. I'm getting old. My eyes are hurting. Getting old sucks. If it's just one hour to go, I can keep going till it closes, but I don't know if I want to make it till 10, 10 16, so I don't know what it is. Makes no sense. No sense, I say. This is a is this a cryptic cryptic hint? I don't know. You tell me, Amanda. I don't know. Well, I could go put it in Twitter. One hour left, I guess. Go back, go back, to the Shadow Kingdom. Maybe one hour left. Who knows?
Oh, I don't know. Uh, man, it says get Groke into 300K. We could get an Uncle Groken magnet. I'm trying to think of what. Two fifty. If he gets a two fifty backers, do you get twelve backers in an hour? I'll go tw I'm gonna go put out a tweet. The Shadow Kingdom is closing in one hour ish. <laughs> Check it out and consider backing. Let's find a cool image here. Media. Mm. Let's take this one. Amanda's already out there on Twitter, Kenneth, putting pressure on for, for people to back to get a magnet. Shame on you. It's not even official yet. <laughs> oh. Have you no shame? Eric, why don't you come in here? I'm trying to stay awake. Nobody will come in here with me. I'm trying to stay awake until this campaign closes. Just come in here and shoot the breeze with me for a few minutes. All right, I'll, I'll put the link in the room. Here we are. I just want to say, like, here we are. Here I am trying to push Russ to the finish line. And a man is in here. And you know what she does? She goes and posts about Groken. <laughs> That's real local force. <laughs> hmm. I guess I guess Amanda doesn't is not 
have a black she's not a black belt bandit or whatever the hell we're going to call that <laughs> just giving you a hard time You're my favorite, Amanda. You know that. Calm down. What's up, Eric? Hey, Leroy. It's been a while. It has oh. been. You sound tired. You just wake up? Um, yeah, I actually slept in today. So I woke up about like 30 minutes ago. Dude, you live in California. That's not sleeping in. For, for me, it is. Oh, <laughs> damn. I'm yeah, I'm usually up real early. Oh. I ate a half of a cheese cheese pizza last night, and that just knocked me out. Oh, dude, pizza's like... <laughs> so after having uh, gallbladder surgery, sometimes eating uh, is adventurous. Oh afterwards Ooh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> pizza is one of them but i love pizza so it doesn't, oh, yeah. i don't care <laughs> <laughs> well without that gallbladder you'll be blowing holes at the back of the toilet like that well, well let's not get too <laughs> specific <laughs> so Hey, I was telling Ken, I was I told Ken to th I back I didn't back I bought Rook and it's gonna be here on Monday have you got it Back, back to back. I didn't back it. I bought I I bought a copy of Rook online, the one with uh, Johns and Faybach from Image. I, I'm having trouble understanding <laughs> understanding what comic, title you're talking. The comic book Rook. Oh, I'm not, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, okay. I thought you might have been. I don't know. So, but it's it looks interesting. Rook? Rook, yeah, R O O K. Is this a newer title? Yeah, number one just came out. <clears throat> Rook, and it's through it, Image. Image, yep. Uh, Kenneth is asking if your other half of the pizza is for breakfast. Oh no, that other half is in the garbage. <laughs> um, uh, the guy with the crow mask, yes. Rook. That one's yeah. Jeff Johns and Jason Fabok. So ah, this looks cool. I thought so. I thought so. I'll check this out. It's and it's coming out. It's out. It's out. This, oh, this month it's already out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This, this looks good. I like this. Well, I mean, it's Faybach. I mean, <laughs> you would expect it to look good. <laughs> you, you know what book I, I, I really, I really liked um, Junkyard Joe, uh, one of Jeff Johns' newer titles. Um, have you read that? Uh, uh, no, nope. Oh yeah, that Junkyard what? Uh, Junkyard Joe. Joe. Yeah. Let's take a look. Gary Frank. Yep. How many issues are there? Are there are only in the six issues so far. How many? I wonder how long the run's going to be. Oh, that's it. The run. The run's over. Oh, is it? So there'll yeah. be. Oh, so that's a trade right there. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So he. The what jo Jeff Johns is doing right now is kind of like a it like similar to what Graham is doing, like he's, he he has a new IP, writes a story for it, right? And and Ge Geiger and Rook, and it's all kind of the same universe kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. because Junkyard Joe was in Geiger, um, and Geiger and Junkyard Joe they they fought at the end, and then now Junkyard the book Junkyard Joe. It focuses more on his origin story 
on how he became what he was or what he is. Ooh, man, I'm gonna I might have to go down the whole rabbit hole because I didn't. Okay, so the, they're going to have three. They have three runs going off right now. Johns does one. Geiger is one of them, and then mm-hmm. Rook, and then uh, one called Redcoat, which has Hitch Hitch drawing it. Now, like I'm not the biggest Hitch fan, right? But the last thing I I really liked from him was really because it was a good story as uh, Batman's Grave. Okay. And, but Warren Ellis, I thought he did a good job of of bringing it back to Detective Batman, like a Detective Batman. Okay. But I didn't really, I didn't really follow it because they are, but yeah. And if they're all tied together, man, I might be going down the rabbit hole with all this just yeah. to check <laughs> it out. It's a fun rabbit hole. So Rook is part of this. Yeah, Rook, and then Geiger, and then Redcoat. Redcoat. Mm-hmm. The Red Coast, the one with Hitch, and then okay, Faybox on Rook. So, oh, I, I have to get that now. So, Rook, Rook, here. and Red Coat. Is there a way to search on this site? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna add these to my Rook. They're not even showing images. Shame. Well, right here. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I, I had to type Rook image comics because it kept on showing um, like chess chess pieces when I when I first searched it. Here it is. Red coat. Oops. Oops. So this is Rook right here on the screen. All right, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a cool character design. Yeah, I think so. Are you um are you a fan of Fallout? Like the Fallout oh, games? Dude, all? I'm a huge Fallout, and I don't dare watch that show, man. Like, oh, I was just about to ask you about that because I, I don't wa- dare. I watched. Uh, the first three episodes, and the first the first episode was acceptable. Oh, but it got real gay real quick. Excuse the language, <laughs> but oh, I know I knew, but I knew better even even watch it. Like um, like oh, like I'll. Elder Scrolls and Fallout, all that old Bethesda stuff. Like, I'm a huge, huge fan. But yeah, yeah. I was like, no, I'll, no, I yeah, I haven't even seen any previews of it, and I knew better than to watch it. So, yeah. but uh, we were talking earlier. I was talking with Eddie Winkler earlier, uh-huh. and I was telling him how refreshing it is to see people like excited about American animation again with the new X Men series. I'm not going to watch it, but apparently people are enjoying it and that's awesome yeah so. i i've seen some clips on twitter uh about it and it looks good it looks it looks interesting I, i'm not I, i'm not the biggest x-men fan but no i just think it's great that people are excited though. every you know i mean it, it's reaching out to everybody you know people it's not I guess there's. It doesn't seem there's any kind of agenda, or so that's cool. Yeah, I appreciate that. Oh, Russ, let's move it, Russ. Oh well. So I got a. I got a. Oh, go go ahead. ahead. Go ahead. You go. So this is Russ's new campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a splash page from this campaign. Russ is a very underrated uh, artist. I think so. I think so. It's, he's very traditional. But with Russ, here's the thing: like, I got a splash page, but if I'm all, if I'm honest with you, I like his like regular. I like his sequential more than his splash pages. But yeah, I went like ahead and got his splash pages. But he's such so good with. Here, let me pull an image up that I that he did 
little page up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, the page that you have up right now, I, I really like. Yeah, but he's got this page that's black and white without the colors. And okay. Yeah, yeah. Let me find it and I'll bring it up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's a great so, example. So is this book kind of like his rendition of like Conan? No, this is before Conan. It's it's the same guy that wrote Conan, but it's the story before Conan. So okay. it was Robert E. Howard. Robert E. Howard wrote Conan, but Cole, yeah. Cole came before Conan. Uh, so same universe, if you will. Okay. Where is it at? <clears throat> Dang it. Oh, okay. Now I'll find it. I think. Yeah, here it is. So, this page is freaking killer. Okay. You see him, he stabs the guy, right? But look at his... Uh, can I zoom? I can't even zoom. Let me see. Open image, a new tab. Look at Cole's reaction as this guy, like, he has... Like the sequence, of course. I mean, sequentials, right? But he's like stabs yeah. him. Look at his his facial reaction as he's finding out this guy's a lizard man. He's like, "Oh <laughs> shit!" Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. And that's what he's really good at, you know. Yeah. So. And that's that's a hard that's hard to capture those moments. Yeah, like he those. does it. Yeah. Exactly. Gra Graham is really good at that too. And. I will say his inking, like on this, is a lot more detailed than Death Can Save Us. I mean, obviously, this is lots cartoony, yeah. you know, like, but yeah, this page is phenomenal. Love it. Yeah, this is great. Is this the page that you got? No, I got a splash page. This is oh, a sequential yeah. page. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. I don't know. I don't understand a GoFundMy comic because I was telling Amanda, it's like it says if you look at the campaign here, it closes at 10 16 a.m. my time, but it has an hour to go, but it's 8 05. So I don't, I don't understand. So, <laughs> well, well, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I'm in for a penny and for a pound. Like, I might as well just hang out here with the four people in the chat until it closes. <laughs> See, I haven't heard anything about this book. Has Usually he, with Russ, he, you don't. Yeah, you don't with Russ. So he just, he just launched it and no, like, without actually, doing any promo? Mm -mm, he was on with Art. And uh, I don't know who Razor Fist is, but I don't want to keep up with the political stuff on YouTube. I guess he's like a kind of like, I don't know. I get like Friday Night Tights kind of vibe without the bullshit. You know what I mean? Whoever okay. Razor Fist is, he's got a huge, he's got a huge following. Anyways, he's got, he was involved with him a little bit. I've seen him. Where have I seen him around at? He was on with Genuine Comics, Dave. Um, okay. I've seen him all over the place, but you just never... Okay. If you have one hour and ten minutes, you can do it, says says uh, Amanda. Amanda, wow. in one hour and ten minutes, you'll be the only person in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> so... But oh yeah, and I showed you right. Like I, was, I showed these guys, but you saw my space sailor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited <laughs> about what, that. Uh, was that from uh, Russ? Was doing that one too, right? Or was no, that from, Elliot. Um, That's Elliot. Elliot. Oh, there he goes. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I went. So I went. I I'm looking for somebody to do a space marine for me, right? So. I'm looking all over the place for commissions. I don't know. I don't get commissions done. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So I'm looking at like through Google and everything is like digital and anime style. And I'm like, I don't want digital. I sure don't want anime style. <laughs> so 
So then I go through my Twitter, and then I saw a Viking Wolf. He's his fan, his fan, his fan art for Viking Wolf. I'm like, I bet he can do a, a space marine. So. Yeah, El- Elliot is a great artist. So. Elliot, um, th- there's another guy that I, I haven't seen him much uh, recently, but he goes by uh, El El Padrino. Uh, I've never heard of him. Yeah, he's. Uh, he he was more on like the oh gosh I just had a brain fart but he he did gosh like he he hang out he hangs out with like the six five six comics guys oh yeah yeah I know you I know you like those guys yeah yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I Oliver did. and all those guys yep but but El Padrino's a very good artist and I I, bet, I'm, I was actually surprised with how good he was. Juanito says Juanito, that. yes, yes. So I will say this about looking at this, and this would be a critique for us. This is not a very good cover, I don't feel like. I don't know why. Let's let's see. Let's see. It doesn't like his interior stuff is better than the yeah. cover, I feel like. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I see. I think it that that's an awkward pose. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but and I think the light, the light angle. Make, you come down here more. and you get the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, but the the, the interiors is he? It, does he color his own stuff? Uh, this, I think he was like half, like he wanted to go black and white, but couldn't commit to it. You know? Okay. He just wanted the lines, and I think the next book he's going to do that. So this is kind of just like a retro color. Yeah, I, I like these colors because you do. They, yeah, they're kind of. I don't know. I, I like those like bright, bright colors. Yeah. It, well, the on this page is kind of muted, but. Yeah. Lizard men. <laughs> so, oh yeah, re- oh, sorry, Jav. Jav, Jav said uh, Razor Fist has been around. His music documentaries are great. I always thought he was like in a, in a in the political sphere. I didn't know anything about music documentaries, so. Yeah. But I don't really. I've heard the name Razor Fist. Yeah, I have too, but that's um, about it. Yeah. So, but apparently he's a big Robert E. Howard guy. I guess I don't know. Okay. So this caught his eye, Brett on Leech. Oh, I'm not this sure. This is good. But yeah, he's one of my favorites. So yeah, I thought I'd help by having four people in the chat and staying up <laughs> for no reason until his book yeah. closes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to talk to Eddie though that earlier, and then I get to talk to you. So that's cool. That's so. now, how is Eddie? I haven't seen him and or heard of him for a while. Oh, he's is doing he... good. He's doing good. Is he done? Is he done with uh, comics for now? No, he's got actually. Um, he says that book two from his from Sovereign Wolf will be in people's hands by the end of the year. So oh. there you go. He'll be launching okay. a campaign sometime this year. Okay. Uh, he does a bit of everything. He was Gamergate. There you go, Gamergate. That's how I know him. Gamergate. Yeah, that was a whole thing before Comics Gate. There was a whole yeah. thing about gaming. Yeah. So, I missed that whole Gamergate saga. Yeah, well. Kind of wish I missed the Comics Gate saga now. Too. Eh, I'm not. I mean, it's, uh, it's about the journey, Eric. It's about the journey and the people the you meet along the way. True, true. I have met some great people. There you go. And there you go. So besides, like I don't know, I still I I back this year I back Kenneth, of course, and then yeah, Eric Weathers and now Russ. So there you go. But I am looking, I'm looking outside, like so like I said, I got Rook. That's the first mainstream comic I've bought in a while. And yeah, I hope it's I, good. I mostly, 
I, I pretty much went back to to mainstream this past year. I went to the LCS like a a while. I mean, it wasn't a. It was like a few months ago, and I just I couldn't find anything that caught my eye. Yeah, yeah. There, there is a lot of just you know just bad stuff out there. I I've been just focusing on like I love spawn, so I have all the spawn. Mm-hmm. titles on my on my uh pull list and i get that every month um and then sometimes i find like little gems um like there, there's a title called grim um that and that's been a fun that's been a fun title um what's that one george was telling you about night terrors i think it's night terrors or yeah what is it he was telling me about it i need to get it Night terrors, yeah. I don't think I that one doesn't sound familiar to yeah. me. Night terrors, is it the image? No, DC. Oh, DC. Okay, I pretty much given up on DC. Um, I still collect like the older Superman stuff, and I try to get my hands on like Silver Age. Superman when I can see it, when I come across him but that that's pretty much it oh night terror okay. yeah yeah but I'm so far back of it that I might just wait until like they release a big trade with it like I don't yeah. want to go collect all the single issues but George said it was good so okay. well I don't know if good's a strong word coming from George but yeah. He recommended it, I think. Yeah, so <laughs> I'll pick it up, but I'm going to wait until it's on trade. So it's another Batman. You can never thing. have enough Batman. I I do not like Batman. <laughs> well, that's your problem. That is. <laughs> that, it definitely is, and that's why I don't buy it. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about X-Men. And Cyclops especially, Eddie. I yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cyclops. I Eddie loves Cyclops. I'm just give him. He's not listening, but yeah. getting a dig at him without him here, not fair. <laughs> can't defend himself. No, cannot. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to pick a, a splash page. So I've been run, chasing Russ around, I'm not chasing him, but what, go, finding out what streams he's in, and seeing what art he's been showing. See like all the different splash pages, and I was telling Amanda how he keeps showing the same ones, so I never get to see all of them. I'm like, oh man, I gotta wait. <laughs> I gotta wait. No. Yep. No spoilers. Is this the new Diablo? No, this is the the new one. Is I can't. I do not like it. This is the third one, and a lot of people yeah. don't like this one. Like, I I like Diablo three. This, this is the game that got me into Diablo. Oh, really? That's rare. Yeah, that's yeah. rare. Yeah. So yeah, this is the third, and it, it, for me, it was finding a game that I could just don't have to think when I'm playing. Like I could yeah. just grind. That's what the, that's why the path of exile and all those games you got to kind of think what's going on and all that. This one you could just grind mindlessly. Yeah. So, but yeah, Diablo three is fun. I tried Diablo four. Wasn't dude. It's rough. Yeah. It is rough. Yeah. And I'm not talking. I mean, it's not like I'm not complaining. I'm just talking about the gameplay is rough. Now, none of the other bullshit that all the people on YouTube want to complain about. It's slow, yes. which is kill. Yes. Yeah, and then it, the animations are not satisfying. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. Like, I, I stopped playing real quick because. Um, Romo yeah, says Diablo too. Yeah, because I I don't play games on computers, and so I I miss out on a lot of that stuff because of it. And so I, I didn't even know what Diablo three was until it came out on PlayStation. Oh, uh, 
Yeah, I, I was just saying, like, I used to play this on PS, but I wanted to be able to play it on uh, PC. Everything else I played on PC, so I would, I would just, like, sit there and put YouTube on my computer and play this on PS4. But I'm going to have to get a PS5 in October. Or, yeah, the new P PlayStation, because that's when yeah. Space Marine's coming out. Spa Space Sailor, as you put it. Space, <laughs> Space Sailor <laughs> 2. So, what well, Warhammer has a game coming out? Yeah, in for, October. Yeah. What's that? I got to try that out. Try well, that. they have the first one, and it's it's rather old, but it's a sequel. It's Space Marine Two, so it's a sequel to Space Marine One, and that one came out on I'm thinking PS Two, not even PS Three. Wait, what? I don't even know which generation we're on. For generation PlayStation, one. PlayStation. Is the new one PS5? Yeah, yeah. That's okay, the so one. I think Space Marine, the first one, when it came out on PS3, then. Okay. Yeah, I think. Don't quote me. You missed it earlier. Watching old Tom Green up. We watched an old Tom Green clip. Remember <laughs> Tom Green? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we watched a clip where he like took all those uh, petting zoo animals and put them in his parents' house. Uh, <laughs> Tom Green. Oh gosh, that's like early two thousands. That's when I was still no oh, late nineties, even yep. before then. Yeah. So yeah, and I'll have to pick up Night Terrors when the trade comes out. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get into this whole Jeff Johns thing. We'll see. Yeah, I I really like Geiger and Junkyard Joe. I think those two titles are probably some of his best work four years in the ps5 already four years are we four years in the ps5 holy crap because when the pandemic it came out when the, the quote pan i'm not going to get it but when everybody was on lockdown that's I remember nobody could get one because everyone was buying them up. And that was, what, two years ago? Oh, it could yeah, be four. Yeah, it yeah. could be four. Yeah, it yeah. Could be. That's, yeah. Because that, that's 2000, 2000. Man, time uh, 2020, flies. 2020, Jeez. 20. Yeah. Because I, I remember even... I was going to get one, and it, but it was ridiculously high price, like like over a 1000 bucks. Yeah, I got one not too long ago though. Yeah, I'm waiting until Space Marine comes out, and then I'm gonna buy one because I don't want to play that on PC. I want to play it on console. Yeah. So is it like a shooter type game? I kind of like it... uh, Gears of War. Okay, third person shooter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah you slaughter um, this one. I mean, I was, here. You want to watch a trailer? Yeah. Yeah, let's pull one. Let's pull the trailer up. <clears throat> Gears of War. That's another one. <laughs> Goodness, <clears throat> I played Gears of War in high school. Damn. Here, let's put it over here. I don't know if this is the gameplay. Let's see if it's got gameplay in it. Oh, bro, I'm already hyped. <laughs> <laughs> well, filthy Xenos. Company, come on. This is first platoon. We've lost the square. We can't hold it.
think that has gameplay though. What's the point with gameplay? I always like the look of, of those guys. I, I I know nothing about the story, but I, I always thought those guys look cool. And that chainsaw sword. <laughs> so here here's some gameplay. Everything you've been told about shampoo and conditioner. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> Okay. There you go. There's the gameplay. So yeah, you can see as I bear gears of war. Yeah. This will serve me. Well. My lord, we are preparing an airstrike. Can you hold the enemy in place until it So are these usually story driven games? Like heavy story? I don't know about heavy, but yeah, there's a story to it. Like that's Titus or the you know the the that guy, you know who the captain is here. Actually, I think he's somebody said he got demoted to lieutenant. So, yeah, as, as Kenneth is saying, for the emperor, the emperor protects. <laughs> and is this going to be a multiplayer? What's that? Oh, it might be. I don't be know. I don't, I'm going to be playing it single player. <laughs> but yeah, there's a the gameplay. Now, they, I don't know if they're going to, yeah, so C is breaking out the chain sword. Yeah, or no, that's his dagger. But yeah, they'll they show it where there's like a huge swarm of filthy Xenos, which the, well, that's aliens. But then yeah. they got the chain sword and they're just slaughtering them. <laughs> this is good. <clears throat> Have yeah. you played um, that game, Hell Divers? No, I because it, it's heavy co-op, and I I play single. I play solo a lot, so. Because uh, I, I want to play the there's a Warhammer game call, out called um, Dark Tide. Okay, but that's also heavy. It's kind of like Hell Divers and Dark Tide, kind of very similar, but it's also heavily multiplayer or team based. Yeah. Oh, look at that! All those aliens running down. Look at this. That look, yeah, that looks cool. Look just at a, this. Just fighting hordes of. Dang. It was like star like starship troopers almost. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Yeah, these, these are good. I, I like shooters. I really like shooters. Yeah. Um and you you probably won't touch this game, but uh, one game I really enjoy is Destiny. Destiny 2. I tried but I've, I, I guess there's a bunch of, bunch of drama going on with Destiny right now. What? Yeah, I guess like from what last I heard, like the people, a lot of players weren't happy with the developer. But I guess. Oh like, yeah, that that always happens. Oh, now Maromi's yeah. commenting on your cat. There you go. Yeah, she's <laughs> running all over the place right now. Hold on, uh, Jazz says Helldivers Two looks. So good, but I would have to learn have a team, and I don't want to play with randos. That's exactly it. Thank you, Jeb. That's yeah. my yeah. my thoughts exactly. So what what I do because I don't mind playing with people, but I just don't like talking <laughs> to people. So I just put everything on mute. All right, and, and then I, I just play, and I, I I get hate messages all the time. But <laughs> no, get out. <laughs> but I'm still having fun. There you go. Russ is up to 239. You got a couple more backers. Yay, Russ. Nice. nice. See, the stream's working. No, it's got kind of nothing to do with <laughs> the four of us hanging out here, for sure. <laughs> um, I guess if I like put thought and try to promote or whatever, but like mostly I just want to talk to people and hang out. It's kind yeah. of what I miss. I don't, you know, like I back three books. I don't mind promoting any of the three of the dudes I back, but I don't want to do what I did again. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. I agree. 48 especially, minutes left. Especially with the state of things right now. I don't even know that. I don't know the state of things. I, I know very little. <laughs> Good. Keep it that way. I know what we, no. what, what we talk about, and that's all I know, and that's enough. Yeah. Uh, last time I joined random team was Overwatch. Oof. Oof. I got screamed yep. at nonstop by Russian kids. <laughs> <laughs> yep. that, that's, 
that's what you use the mute button for. You, you get peace, but then you still have some fun. I am going to make it. I'm very, I think I'll make it. <laughs> then I'll be able to take a nap before the Yankees game. Um, yeah. Who, who are they playing today? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland. Uh, oh, speaking of which, let's check on the AC Milan score real quick. Yeah. Oh, it says tomorrow at 8. Oh, good. I'll, I'll watch it. It's tomorrow at 8 a.m. I'll get up and watch it. Yep. I thought it was today at 8 a.m. Oh. Uh, tomorrow, well. tomorrow I'll be doing a 12-hour shift at the hospital. Ooh, yuck. I'll think about you when I'm sitting in my recliner. <laughs> this a, April and May is always so busy with that because my, um, my students are doing their clinical rotations. Mm-hmm. And then freaking California, being California. Now they, uh, we used to just, we used to be able to just send the students off to their clinical sites and not have to over, not have to shadow them. Uh, but last year they made this adjustment in the, in the legislation to where we, we have to be with our students at their clinical sites. Oof. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot more work. Hopefully, you get paid. Yeah, yeah, we get paid, but yeah, yeah, it's like but after working all week and then you have to do two twelves Saturday, Sunday. Wait. Yeah, that's 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 shit I would have to do in the military. I haven't had to do it since <clears throat> 70 hour weeks. Yeah. To hell with that. I've had to do a couple 60s and it's not even fun. <laughs> oh, I still kind of like sore when I stretch like back where I got that surgery at. So if I bend all the way back, I can still feel it. Mm. Uh, Jav, what is Hell Divers 2 similar to? Um, I don't know what game you would compare that to. Jeff might know. Jeff might know. So, uh, oh, I told Ken that like I, my my whole my comic collect my comic now is I'm I'm gonna try to find every Roca Fort cover I can. Every Roca Fort, <laughs> every Roca Fort cover. So, yeah, that's. Oh, was like, that what those pictures were in the room? All those rebirth pictures was. Did you put those in there? No, that was Amanda. She was arguing about my top ten list. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, like, so you try to find out like new, like new ways to spend your discretionary income. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now I'm on a great hunt. Nice. And I just started. I started. I started yesterday. Yes. I got a, <laughs> I got a Roco Fort cover that I haven't got yet. So. Well, which one was that? Uh, super the new Fifty Two Annual Number One. Annual Number okay. One variant. And. Annual Number One was that. That Here. that was a Superman one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, what are you? Oh, everything, Amanda. Well, he was asking who was putting the uh, the the covers in the, the room earlier. It was you? That's what Ken says. Is like I don't have all my covers. I don't even know where to find a list to 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 where <laughs> all your covers even are. So I'm just gonna start with like. The few mm -hmm. Superman covers I don't have. And then I want to go do all the uh, the Bloodshot and the Man of War stuff because I don't have any of that. Oh, yeah. All the those image, image books. Valiant. The Valiant stuff. Valiant. Yeah. What, was Velocity Valiant too? No, that was Top Cow. 
Top Cow. Okay. Yeah. So Top Cow was Madam Mirage, Cyber Force, Hunter Killer, and okay. Velocity. Yeah. Then he did a bunch of covers for Man of War and Bloodshot. I don't have any. I don't have any of those. So maybe I'll get the few DC ones I don't have. Then I'll go to go to Valiant. But there's the there's like a free comic book day. I feel like there's some there's a I, I'm missing a free comic book day story that he did. I don't know if he did a cover for it, but I need to get that. And that's going to be expensive because everybody throws those away and then they're hard to find and then you know how it goes. Yeah. So. <laughs> the Ninjack, oh. yeah. Mm. Uh, the Cyber Frog ones, uh, look, I've not been around, but knowing how things work, you could probably get them on eBay. <laughs> Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like 48 because I get paid for 56. Old company policy didn't pay for 440 unless you're greater than 48. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm a I'm a salary employee, so this stuff works a little bit different. Yeah, I am too. That means like if I work over forty, I don't get any any extra pay. <laughs> exactly. exactly. <laughs> but I, if, I get a lot of stipends for because I my contract is weird because I got I'm I'm with the the school district. Mm -hmm. But I'm also part of the Health Careers Academy, which is a technically a separate school. So I get I get funding from both. Look at this anti Roko Force stance that Amanda's taken here, Eric. Given the option, Roko no, just the Joe, just the first, just the first part of it. Oh, I don't need to collect them. Well, she's the same person that put. Uh, the put broke for to number four. I know, so I mean, yeah. uh, you do need to collect them all. First of all, if you're Roka Force, you have to collect them all. You need well, to first off, she, she has to uh get her priorities right. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's where we need to start. I think what we need to do is have a, a Roka Force off or who can get the, their entire collection first. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So what what's gonna be included? Oh, did I sh did I show you? Um, I got a sketch cover from uh, uh, Kenneth. Uh, oh no, a months back. Show me. Um, um, yeah, I know you have it scanned in. Do I have a scan? picture of it? <laughs> I want to see. Let me. Let me get it out of its little. So I locked this thing away. So I... Let me pull it out. But it's a it's a king cryptid. Yeah, cover. no, yeah. I was just talking about that way back at the beginning of the stream where I wouldn't even know it except um like so you got a king cryptid sketch cover, but Russ is doing an entire king cryptid a king cryptid book. He's doing a whole issue. Oh, that's really? A, what that's what issue is he doing? Uh, it's in the next campaign, but that's the stuff. It's like if Ken, if Ken ends up doing a cover for, I don't know, let's say Brett Booth puts out a book and I, you know, then I, I, who's keeping track of, of all this. <laughs> if I didn't hear Russ randomly talk about doing a. Oh, it's still too dark. Uh... All right. Let's see if this works. Oh, he said he was going to keep it for himself. Here, let me make you. Hold on. How do I make you, you bigger? Can you see that? Yeah, but I got to make you bigger, and I don't know how. Okay. Hold on. Leave it there. Solo layout. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. I'm jealous. Yeah, yeah. This, this is a great, great piece. Yeah, it is. Congratulations. This is all. This is the only Rocafort art I've ever gotten to. Well, it's a good one to have. Yeah. All right. Turn Congrats. And now we lock it back away. Keep it out of the sunlight. 
But yeah, I do. I have a, a Roku Fort piece, but I put it on the window wall so like the sun can't get on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, I do. I do that with some, some of my original art. Like the the only I've taken pretty much everything down except I have two Superman pieces up. One from uh, Art uh, Artsy Bear. Is that the one you bought on the auction? Got it for a steal? No, no, no. I I, I actually went to Art's website for oh, this you did? one. Yeah, and this is it, it was a um, this was a splash page in. Was this Action Com? Yeah, Action Comics nine sixty two. Um, it's, that's fairly uh, recent. Yeah, yeah. This is this is when um, uh, Superman and, four or five years ago when Thousand came out. It seems like. Yeah, just about. Yeah. yeah. So th this was during. I think this was the rebirth. Yeah, this was rebirth Superman, and then. Um, and then Superman and Doomsday had his had their fight again, but they, they they had they had this beautiful splash page, and it's it's Superman punching Doomsday in the in the looks like he's getting punched in the nuts, but um, freaking DC put a whole bunch of stupid little ads and crap over it inside their comic, so they they kind of spoiled the art a little bit, but the actual page itself and with arts inks, it's it's freaking gorgeous, man. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, I have a commission, a watercolor commission from Rod Looper. Oh, nice. Yeah, and this was a. Uh, oh, I'm I'm pointing my freaking phone like you guys can see it. Hold on, let me put that. <laughs> here, um, let me make you solo again, just a sec. I'm sorry. Everything's dark out here. So the sun's barely coming out. Yeah, we see it now. All right. Can you can you see that? Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So that's the one that Art did. That's the splash page at Action Comics uh, 962. Yep. And then this right here is the watercolor from Rod Looper. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Good. that's nice. This was the um, this was the last page of. Uh, John Burns Man of Steel in uh, Man of Steel issue one, right? And so this was his like version of it. And so like you have Ma and Pa Kent at the bottom. Yeah, the, that's right where I live, right there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I th this is probably my favorite Superman run. But, oh but yeah, I, Man of Steel. Yeah, John Absol Burns Man of Steel. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely, and then uh, I'll show you a piece I never showed before, too. Right up here, you see that? Yes. Okay, so that that's actually something my brother made for me a long time ago. Nice. But this is a uh, um this is this is a biblical take on uh gosh, what scripture was this? This was when. Moses, I think it was Moses. He asked, he asked to see God, and then God walked past him, and then said, "You can only look at my back. You can't look at my face because you'll die." You familiar with that story? Oh, of course I am. I'm just trying to get the, just trying to look at it there. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's not, kind of, it's not the best. But I could no, no, no. It's the glass. It's very clean and unseen reflections. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So he, um, yeah, so he, he made God into like this, uh, amber looking character. Mm -hmm. Cause I think, uh, what is it in the book of Daniel? I think it is it. I don't know what it, it's a old Testament, one of the old Testament books, but they, it gives kind of like a brief description of what God kind of looks like. And he's talking about amber, like an amber glow and all that. All that type of stuff. So that that's his interpretation of it, and he yeah. gave that to me. So, oh. yeah, that that's the only stuff I have up on my wall right now. I've got two spots left. One's for Russ, and one's for Elliot. So then I'm nice. I think I'm done. Well, I'm not done because I think I might like do commission a few like some of the artists that don't like they like Elliot. You know what I mean? People like Elliot. 
Like, yeah. I might, I might say Elliot do me a, um, cause I have an Elliot do a gray Knight. That's a chapter of the space Marines. And I might get somebody to do me a blood angel and get like all the different chapters kind of thing. Okay. That's kind of like my idea, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much these Roka Fort covers cost me. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's see how much time we have left. Thirty-two minutes. Thirty-two. I don't. I'm not gonna have to do this for a while either, because Groken. Groken's in the middle of the campaign. It's gonna close in what thirty-six days, thirty-seven days. Okay, so when it closes, is it gonna be closed, closed, or? Oh, I don't know. Last time it went in demand, I'm pretty sure. So I, we, you can ask the man himself. He's in the chat, dude. Yes, Kenneth. Are you actually shutting down the campaign, or are you gonna let it go in, in into in demand? And then Eric's campaign is over, and then Russ is the next thing is going to be another only death can save us. But he's start, he says he's drawing the books before he like this book Shadow Kingdom is drawn. It's lettered. It's ready to go. Oh, okay. I like yeah. that. So like that. that's what he's going to do for only death can save us. So I might not have a campaign where I could have come on and stream about it until. Mm -hmm. Well, if Eddie, if I'll come in for Eddie, I'll do it too, of course. Yeah. Eddie Winkler, you know. But it'll yeah. be a while. Yeah. So. Yeah, camp. <laughs> people, people, we want to back a few in numbers these days. I, uh, I've been given the the Ripperverse a fair shot. Um, he's going in demand. In demand, good. Yeah. So the Ripperverse, I I told you in the back room what I thought. Like I'm not no interest. Where I almost want to go get it out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I hear you. I have no interest you. in it whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's it, it's it's a it's very average. Um, but I I like I love superheroes. I, I really do, and. Um, this is very, it, it's leaning hard into the superhero genre. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a fair shot. I want to get, I want to get at least one, one book from each of the titles that, that he has. And then I'll probably just whittle it down from there. I will say for me, like I was, I was excited when, when I started seeing Ken in the chats, right? But you uh -huh. could have not tailor made a, a comic for me more than like what he put out. Oh, Groken? Yeah, it is like right yeah. in my like Lord of the Rings, yeah, fantasy wheelhouse. Yeah, because it it's kind of oh, like almost like, like breaking news, sci-fi fantasy. Next cover will be Teenage Mint and. Let's just say Turtles number one, Raphael, very exclusive comic <laughs> book store. What comic book store? So we know to go get it. <laughs> Amanda, are you yeah, paying yeah. attention? <laughs> <laughs> we'll do a road trip. <laughs> well, usually you can buy them online now from the comic book store. Oh, now she's good. Dude, she is complaining. Oh, Complaining it's not Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> See, her priorities. Her priorities are off. You can't ever make Amanda happy. Yeah. You know, Kenneth like offers like a t-shirt and she wants a <laughs> magnet. Like you can't make you can't make the woman happy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Amanda says she doesn't even know where her closest LCS is. Uh, comic book store exclusive means uh, to like there's to Midtown Comics. Store. Yeah, there's a Midtown Comics in New York City. There's Mile High Comics in Denver. Like it's to a specific store. Yeah. So. I got to pick up my pull list this month. I haven't done that yet. 
So. Four turtles with Raphael in the front. Okay. Uh, when oh now they want to know where this Kenneth cover is coming yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, where and when. So but yeah, that's another thing to add to the list. I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do so a lot of research and come up with like a master list. Yeah, bring out that spreadsheet. And I'm not going to share it with Amanda because I'm going to be first. <laughs> yeah. I'm not putting in that group chat whatsoever because between <laughs> Van- Amanda and Vanessa, it'll be on. Yeah, probably stat too. Cucamonga, four color fantasy. Do you know the town? I know I don't know it. Uh, I'm assuming that's that's Rancho Cucamonga. Uh, uh, that's what I'm assuming. I'm not overly familiar. I mean, I've gone up and down Cali a few times, but I know like the major like L.A., Lodi, Fresno, you know, all that kind yeah. of stuff. It's a it's a like a suburb area. Was it four? What do you say? Four color. Uh, four color fantasy. I don't need all the main stuff. Just comp covers that speak to me. Well, I mean, you're only part-time Rocco for Amanda, at best. Maybe quarter-time. Yeah, Rancho Cucamonga. That's the four-color fantasy. Um, and they got a website. I think you know, one year I am going to go out to Comic-Con. What's the one I said? Oh, Ontario. Ontario? Yeah. I'm going to go to Ontario Comic-Con. And if I see Amanda there, I'm pulling her Rocco Force credentials from her. I can't have this. <laughs> it's fun because she can't defend herself. That's why it's fun. And she has the link too. She just refuses to defend herself. No, she's at work doing taxes, bro. Uh, she's working that overtime. <laughs> Covers that speak to me. She got that Lady Mechanica cover though. Okay. She wouldn't got that one. That one is pretty cool though. Yeah. Oh, what do we got left? <laughs> You're really struggling hanging in there. Huh? Uh, dude, I <laughs> I the real only reason I'm awake right now is because I accidentally took a nap before work yesterday. So I ended up waking up at like 2.45 and I had to be dude. at work at Oh, like go ahead. Three thirty. So I slept until two thirty, or yeah, two forty-five in the afternoon. Ah. So yeah. So yeah, like it's good that I'm doing. I'm kind of resetting my clock. So. <laughs> well, that, nobody else is celebrating the closing of Shadow Kingdom. I don't see. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't see it on Twitter. The tw- the Twitters though. So. Mm-hmm. The only true fan. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I wouldn't say that at all. Amanda beat me to the club. But where is she now? She's going to be second in the club when my package comes in. <laughs> <laughs> She's got that homage piece, though. I love it. The, the one where he's... Uh, it's a Marvel homage where death is... Um, Getting dressed up. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Where's that? Where's that from? Spider Man. Is it Spider Man? Mm, where did I see that page? Mainstream wise. Uh, it's an homage, though. She's got that page. It's nice. Yeah, I, I would have to see it to see what you're. No, I didn't send him the link. Oh, Amanda, I don't want to go through all that anymore. I the only t- I would do that for Kenneth, and that is it. Yep. And maybe Eddie, because Eddie's a friend of mine. So those are it. Like I wouldn't do that. Like I don't want to do all that. That's get that gets you hate, and I don't want hate. Yeah. 
Speaking of friends, so you you still talk with George? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just He's talked the- to him. Well, I text though with text, but I talked to him. I think last week maybe we talked. Okay. Yeah, we talked a uh, baseball. We were talking a lot of baseball. Uh, I showed him my video I made. Did you see my video of the Roca Force covers? The Roca Fort covers? No, I didn't see that. Here. Yeah. So I showed him. He he was very happy with my video. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull it up. I I love that image. <laughs> the sticker sticker I've ever had, yeah. Right there. I like, I like this that. is probably my favorite Roco Fort cover. Yeah, this one or the or this one's special because it was the first on Detective. So That one. So either that's what, Superman or this Batman Superman. What what is this from? This is Batman Superman. And I don't remember what issue. But this is this is but the uh, the problem is is that they have the dressing over Superman's cape. If you look, I found this. I don't know. Oh, I found this okay. off the internet with undressed, and this is absolutely sick right here. Yeah. Mm. Fuck, dude, you don't even know. This is like great. <laughs> that, that is that. That's that's a good one. Anyways, I made that video. I'm gonna pull up that page from Amanda. Okay, real quick, because I like that page from Russ. It's an homage. Maybe you know that you'll know when you when you see it what it's an homage to. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's driving me crazy. Let's see. This page. Huh. Is the is it a punisher? No, that's his character. Only death no. can save us. No, no, oh, no I mean, mean the hum- punisher. The hum- no, I, I don't think it's punisher. I I don't know what it is. It, I've seen the page like a hundred times and now I can't even remember what the homage is to. So, no. I don't know. Well, that, that I, is a very nice page though. This, it does, I don't know. She's got more. Hold on. There it is. Even better here. So there, it's on the left right there. Oh yeah. Yeah. The, Yeah, the inks are much more. Yeah, that's that's so good. Goodness. Yeah, then I thought when he was doing a show the other day, Russ was. He's like, "Okay, I'm not gonna like, I'm moving on." I thought I heard him say he was moving on from only death can save us. I'm like, "No," (laughs) and he's like, "No, just this, just this arc. We're gonna keep doing it." I'm like, "Okay, good." (laughs) (laughs) Yes. So there you go. Hey, man, I got that page. That's that's kind of I'm I, that's a bummer because I kind of want that page. 
She, well, by the looks of it, she doesn't even have it in a frame. I know. It's probably just laying on her coffee table. Yeah, she's got like fuck Starbucks on it or whatever they do in the Northeast. I don't know. And, and it looks like it's all folded up too. Yeah, she probably like folded up, put it in her back pocket to take the world at work to show all her girlfriends. She's not showing the art any respect whatsoever. Just folds it, sticks it in her purse. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Thanks for sharing, Amanda. Yes. Get it framed. Uh, she or says put it in a portfolio. She's got a Starbucks and a koozie. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, didn't even know a Starbucks koozie was the thing. So, but yeah, that's what it. I think uh, I'm going to try to get into this Jeff Johns thing. I'm going to probably collect some Rocco Fort covers, and I'm probably going to be looking for people to commission different chapters of Space Marines. And I think that's what I want to do. Like, that sounds good. Because I mean, I'm going to back anything ken does anything eric does anything russ does and then eddie and i don't know if uh, i told somebody too like if kelsey ever does his own book i'll probably get behind that i i agree with that i agree with that i yeah i i, yeah. I would do that but kelsey I, I don't know if it's because i don't never i don't really watch streams with kelsey i just like his art but it seems to me like Kelsey doesn't want the stress and the headache of putting out his own book, or he's kind of shy or intimidated by it or what's whatever. But if you ever put, I'll back big. You know what I mean? I'll get a page or something. So mm -hmm. uh, I should have gotten the Visions one three pack, but I forgot to back it. Oh, that's the one Visions. with the Rocco Fort cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Visions. Okay. That's the. You don't remember that Malin did the swimsuit thing with all. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. Kenneth did yeah. the cover. So. Oh, so you got to go reach way back into the vault and get that stuff too, huh? I have. Or you I just have. not include? Oh, you already got it. The visions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you did, if I didn't, I'd be in big trouble because that's going to be really expensive to get because that only came out during that campaign. But I have it, luckily. I've got everything he's done from CG. Okay. Yeah. Didn't Kenneth do something for Rainbow the Brute? Oh, yeah, he did a story for it. Oh. But uh, also a big Randy piece in that I didn't know about. Lilith Rocco Fort cover. Gingerbread Man. That was the story you did. Gingerbread Man. So yeah, and then oh yeah, I'll be back in Samedi for the for the King Cryptid issue that Russ is drawing. Yeah. So, but I mean, my back way down though. So, do you know what issue he's doing? Uh, I want to say eleven, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. You could reach okay, out to so it's. Right, like you're on talking yeah. Pete, right? Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Pete streams all the time. I, I just didn't. Uh, to to be honest, I I don't tune into many uh, streams anymore. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so so a lot a lot of stuff, uh, especially project wise, I'm not. I'm not savvy on what's going on. Yeah, I'm not. I mean. I follow like I told you who I follow. So and I re I rely on these guys, you the guys in 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 the room to tell me if Kelsey ever launches his own book. Like I assume I'm gonna hear about it. So Yeah. Yeah, because Stat Stat's a big Kelsey fan. He likes Kelsey. We, I'm sure he'll he'll be the first one to jump on. He'll that. let everybody know, right? Yeah. But I've been waiting for Kelsey to launch. He's been threatening for a while. It's like, uh. I know. <laughs> yeah, because he's he's on that the Nexus book with uh, Baron. Baron right? yeah. yeah, yeah. But I want him to do his own thing. You know, it's like I wait for him to do his own thing. So we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. 
We shall see. So we got 13 minutes left, 240 backers. And I've got to be real, too. I'm not the biggest fan of this this, uh, this mm-hmm. site so far. I, I, I back big, right? Mm-hmm. Like I said in the room, I back big. And like it doesn't take the money right away, and I don't like that. Oh, so it's like Kickstarter. Yeah, I want the money gone when I back it. I want that money gone. I don't want to have to keep track of that. It kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah I agree. So, I didn't. I didn't know that they were like that. I thought the. I well, thought I guess the whole thing was. Uh, oh, go ahead. There's two modes, I guess, and if it's in raise mode, it takes some money on the last day and all or nothing, it'll take it immediately. But if I wouldn't like known, like there's no incentive to back on day one, like literally none in raise mode, because it's not going to take the money until day one, until the last day. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, hold on. We got a bit to the chat. Uh, Maromi says it should have been after Nexus. He has been saying after Nexus. All right. So Maromi said it. Uh, anytime if he if he launches, I'm there. Uh, I went and bang on Nexus, CGC, and everything. Yeah, I'm waiting for his own IP kind of thing. Yeah. So, but yeah, I'm a Kelsey guy. I like his stuff. Yeah, I do too. I do too. So I think he kind of got. I don't know if he hosed over, but he got into the the bright wiser thing and it's like dude you should have just done your own stuff man like, yeah damn and what's what sucks about that bright wiser thing it, they they keep fumbling because like i i backed ba- bass reeves um mm-hmm. they they had um they had pretty much the whole um the whole arc done but then i, I got an email a couple uh a couple weeks ago or may maybe a little over a month ago um and I guess the Brightweiser's business failed again. And then now yeah. the I, I don't, I'm not sure what's happening with the crowd funds. Yeah, they so, went they bankrupt. You know, it's sad. But I mean, you just didn't don't bite off more than you can chew, kind of thing. I know everybody, and include me, includes thinks every Groken should be in every everybody's hands or whatever, but. Maybe yeah. there's there's something to be said for not you know not biting or not biting more than you can chew or whatever you know like yeah, handle what you can big. handle right yeah. I, I don't know but it's yeah. sad that's all sad and whatever yeah but like there's also something to say is like Russ there's no way this book should only be two hundred and forty backers like come on. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. Everybody there's, wants to talk about like, oh, back in the old, like, here you go. Here's there's, tra- there's, here's traditional comics right here. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, f- exactly. Like this, this is a great series. Well, well, Gr- Russ is a great artist, mm-hmm. uh, and Only Death Could Save Us is a great series. This one looks like it's going to be great too. Oh, uh, I think he. I think his inks, at least on this, have uh, clearly much more detailed. He leveled up here. I don't know about leveling up, but it's much more detailed. Yeah, and I, sure. I like. I really like these colors that he's shown. Is he the colorist of his own stuff? Not on Death Can Save Us. I don't know if he did it here or not. I like. I don't watch a lot of streams. I've caught a few with him in it, but I haven't. He. Mostly, it's him talking about other books. Like that's okay. what his his channel does. Like they're going through that terrible Eldrick series from the was it? I think the late eighties, maybe early yeah eighty nine. I think it's just, they're going through a trade. It's so bad because it's different issues by different artists, and some artists care, and some artists don't care. Where you're flip, why they're flipping through it? They they give commentary. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Romy says, I know some people use prepaid cards and FMC's pay processors doesn't support them. And I don't know. Like, and I know there's issues with Indiegogo. I understand. I get it. But it's just I, like, ugh. I'm ugh. just really burnt out of the crowdfunding experience at this point. 
Well, that's why I chose my favorites and continued supporting those guys and just kind of like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and that's what I've done. Like, I, I literally have a list of three. And that's what I got. Well, Eddie, for you know, yeah, I got Graham, Kenneth, and Reenie, and then that's it. Yeah, and I got Eric, Russ, and Kenneth. So, but. But you got, you know, I maybe this will get me back into image stuff, you know, where I start looking at image for some original stuff again. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, but it, I hope Jeff it, Johns isn't trying to take all my money. I don't want to be buying like 17 different runs <laughs> of, of the same. You know what I mean? Like, don't do that, Johns. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. So, all right. We're getting close. Yeah. Almost made it. And, uh, Crap! What's his? Um, I just forgot his name. Mark Mark uh, Mark Millard just went to Dark Horse. Yeah, I saw and, that. That's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, and I, um, I've I've never been into Mark Millard's stuff, but uh, I think I might get some of his omnibuses um, once they start. Once Dark Horse starts putting them together. Uh, Jav, I'm just gonna highlight this because I think he's well. <laughs> yeah, I, I unfollowed him and blocked him. I, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I've done that to a lot of creators. This, this like Mean Girls crap that everyone's doing right now. It's I, I find it disgusting. But yeah. I'm not gonna harp. I'm not gonna go into depth on it. I just yeah. I don't like it. All right, six minutes. Holy crap. Almost there. Uh, Almost there. And then you could get some rest. <laughs> uh, only an hour and a half or so because then the Yankees play. I got to drag my ass out of bed and into my recliner. <laughs> <laughs> you'll watch the opening inning and then you'll wake up at the <laughs> wake up on the ninth. Hopefully the opening inning is all I need to watch. That'd be great. Well, there's two games. It's doubleheader tomorrow or today. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't know that. Uh, Maromi, that's that's an accurate statement for me too. Yeah, plenty of art. That's how I'm doing it. I need to find out who I want to do. Well, I think L, the the one Elliot's doing for me right now. That's my favorite chapter, right? So like, oh, it'll be the... my favorite. Yeah, the Space Marines, like the yeah. Great Knights, are my favorite. So. Oh. But I gotta find. Is he gonna, gotta key. Is he Go gonna color it too? No, and I'm thinking about having it colored, then doing a print, and then framing the print and the originals, and like one frame, like, and like framing side it. By side. Yeah, yeah, side by side. I'm thinking about it, but we'll see. Because I'm gonna, if I do what I'm doing, if I do what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a lot of Space Marines. <laughs> Do you collect the Space Marine figures too, like the little miniatures? Yeah, yeah. Eddie yells at me because he made me some really nice ones mm -hmm. to paint, but I'm not that good yet. So I'm oh, you actually them. paint them too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I go to the store and I buy I buy them and I paint them. And Eddie wants me to but paint the ones that he he gave me, and I'm like, no, dude, I'm gonna wait until I'm good to yeah. paint those because <laughs> yeah. before you ruin yeah. it. Yeah, because those are those mean something to me, man. Like you know, like the ones I buy at the store, they don't mean anything. So, uh, still won't be able to keep up with you, Travis or Jake, though. Oh, and then Phil's in here. Are we live? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. For now, <laughs> I'd say so. We're live for like three more minutes. <laughs> I got it right. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Last chance. I don't even know if they have in demand and fund my comic. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I I haven't used this site. This is the first time for me. So I'm going to check my bank account after we get done too to make sure that money comes out because I'm tired of keeping track of it. <laughs> Watch it. You're you're going to get a refund somehow. I'll be so mad. <laughs> but like, <laughs> I'll be so mad. This will close close, says Amanda. So there you go. You got three minutes to back. 
And I would suggest you do because the book is done already, Eric. It's done. Yeah. Okay. My my <laughs> my three have already been spent this year. So. There you go. And it's not that I don't like these other creators. It's just I I'm sticking with the the, the three rule, the rule of three. The rule of three. Oh, somebody came in and backed. So, uh, I've got the rule of four, apparently, because I keep forgetting about Eddie. So I have the rule of four. And maybe if Kelsey comes on, there'll be the rule of five. Yeah. So you might have the rule of four if Kelsey comes, because you said you'd go in on Kelsey. That's true. I, I will make exceptions. I told Roko Fort that he's my five favorite comic artists, like since he counts as five. <laughs> So, <laughs> really, there's he was, he cor he corrected me. He's like, you have seven, so it's a rule of seven. So it's Kenneth counts as five. <laughs> <laughs> One minute left, dude. This is like a six and a half hour stream. Oh dang, you have been up since. <laughs> yeah, Eddie came in here. One? Eddie came in here for an hour earlier. Yeah. Uh, and then Kenneth says, I'm correct for having, for, for having him as counting as five. Yes. Yep. Like, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One minute. I bet Amanda bought a page out of this and then she's still going to be ahead of me. I'm going to be so mad. Now, you know what I'll do? I'll contact Russ and tell him I want a page from his Batman. <laughs> his bat. I'll see. Hey, do you got a page from Batman you sell? Then I'll be ahead again. He, um, he worked on an issue of uh, Batman. Detective he did. Uh, he did the you know he did the UK run of uh, Panini does contracts DC out overseas, so it's kind of like. A sub it's like a subcontractor like Panini. They make sports okay, cards man. too. Yeah. So it's like okay. a European UK edition of Batman. So huh. Yeah, so he probably yeah. has some Batman pages hanging out somewhere, I'm sure. Is it any different than regular Batman? Uh, well, his is more kid focused, like kid focused. Kind of the stories are kid focused. Here, hold on. We'll, let's wait till the campaign closes, and then we'll go over there and we'll look at it real quick. Is that sixteen seconds? Is that what that's one like? second to go? Look how look how good my refreshing was. Nice. One second to go. All right. That's a long second. Well, I didn't refresh again. Close ten seconds ago. It's closed. There we go. Forty-one backers. There we go. So we go to Russ's website. So. Where's so DC ba basically just leasing leasing out Batman to that publisher over there in the UK. Once again, ja Jav explains it better than me. Lost the oh, they lost the license to Tops, but they had the license, the DC license, I guess. Okay. And then uh, they make their own stories. and So it's not part of the main DC. No, no, no. It's, it's like their own little. Where's his freaking, his website doesn't come up. What's his website? Is it Comic Book Black Belt? Oh, I have no clue. <sighs> Russ Leach YouTube. It doesn't even take me to his own YouTube channel. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Here, you know what? I'll go to his Twitter. Hold on. We'll get to the bottom of this, Eric. I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> Use those detective skills. Yeah. Oh, is he... Well, it, isn't his YouTube black comic, uh, comic book black belt? Yeah, I'm going to see if his... There you go. Of course, it's just rustleach.com. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But there you go. So there's some of his Batman stuff. Huh. 
I I really like the way that he does his panels. But yeah, if he if Amanda got an original page, like I'm gonna go, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Russ and be like, hey, I need to buy a Batman page so I could be better than Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now that was a big the penny lost some exclusive rights though, so new sticker sets are missing key players. Uh, congrats, Russ, says Amanda. Her post Marvel is much better. Uh, Jeremy Burt celebrates. All right, well, now that this, I think we had the most viewers right now at seven than I've had all night, but now the campaign's over. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you did your job, you got like four or five backers. I didn't get those backers. Those backers were coming anyways. <laughs> but I'll I had fun. I, had I, fun. I brought the backers. I'll, I'll take uh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. You're welcome, Russ. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'm going to end the stream. So thanks, Jeremy and Jab. And earlier here we had John. Mm -hmm. Sumo Story was here earlier. Eddie was uh -huh. here earlier. A man has been here off and on. Jeremy Burns was here. And of course, the five versions of Kenneth Rocafort that were here. So, yep. thanks for hanging out, guys. We'll talk to you later. All right.